Hey, Mom. Hey, your sister told me that you and Riley are going to the movies later, and I thought I'd invite myself along. Uh, no, we're not going to the movies anymore, actually. Oh, that's too bad. I was going to bring snacks. I got a potato salad in the fridge that's about to expire. Oh, yeah, that's, that's too bad. Uh, but yeah, no, we're not going, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. We're not going to the movies. Yeah, we're still going. But you just told Nona we weren't. I told Nona a white lie. A white why? It's a harmless little lie that protects her feelings because I personally didn't want to listen to her ask a hundred questions during the entire movie, but I don't want her to know that. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. Great. Uh, how do I look? Great. Thanks. Did I do it right? Do what right? A white why? A white lie? <laughs> Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Hey, Nickelback, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Um, I will travel to the ends of the earth to wherever you are to see you. I would love that. Um, but I might need a plus one just because I'm thinking, and stay with me, I'm thinking that it would be uh, kind of cool to uh, possibly have um, a chat off, you know, to see who's the best chat. Okay, if you're too scared, I understand, but like, I think it'd be pretty sick. <laughs> you don't understand me is I am crazier. That's not something to be fucking proud of, Cassie. No, but it is something you should be scared of. What the fuck? What the fuck? You can't fucking blackmail me into a relationship with you. Blackmail means you don't have choices. But in reality, you do have choices. You just have to own up to the consequences of them. That is the literal fucking definition of blackmail. If you don't do this, I'm gonna do that. I it's blackmail. blackmail. I don't care. It doesn't change anything. It's fucked up. You know what's fucked up, Nate? You telling me that you love me and then going and being in a relationship with my best friend. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Why do we need to get up at 5 a.m. to go for a walk? Because, Janet, the early bird always gets the fish. I think it's worm. Why would I eat small little worm when I can eat the fish? Because that's not the- You know what? I'm not having this conversation right now. I need to check my BMO online banking account anyway. It is 5 a.m. Banks are closed. Now with BMO online banking, you can bank anytime. Really? Well, could you check our credit score right now? Yeah, no problem. Why? To see if we could afford this new house for sale. I could check it on the app, but I can tell you right now we can't afford it. Oh. Chad? What's up, John? So, funny story. What? I may have lost the credit card you let me borrow. I don't ever remember letting you borrow- Either way, it's gone and I'm really sorry. I don't know what to do. Chad, it's fine. I can lock my credit card from the BMO online banking app, no problem. Oh, right. Okay, cool. I also know that you can e-transfer from that app, too. Do you mind sending me, like, $50? Hello? Going to work, honey. Oh, no, stay. Let's have some fun. Oh, you- <laughs> Okay. Yay. Boop. Okay, honey, I'm going to work. Okay. Oh, I need to reschedule our usual Tuesday at 7 p.m. hot and steamy hanky panky session. No. No, you did this last Tuesday. You can't keep postponing. I know, but I told Renee I'd go to the movies with her tonight. <laughs> what time is the movie? 7.30. Counter proposal. I'm listening. We skip positions one and three, go straight to two and four, and I'll get you out of here by 7.15. I'd rather stick with one and just go straight to four. But you love to. Mm-hmm. What? It's not the best. That's not what you said last Tuesday. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. This relationship is just built on the throne of lies. So does that mean you're canceling our session tonight? No. But now we are only doing three because I can't look at your face. Okay. And you better bring me back some movie popcorn. Fine. <laughs> She's definitely going to postpone. Hello? Hey! You calling me randomly without notice right now sparked a mild panic attack within me and I did not want to answer. Okay. Anyway, you know how it's been three months since we've seen each other? Yeah, and it's been... it's great, to be honest. Well, surprise! I'm in front of your place. <laughs> this has ruined my day. Well, don't you want to see me? 
I need five to 15 business days to even process the thought of company coming over. Well, I'm here now, so let's go out. Let's go meet other friends. Let's do something. Go out. Why do you hate me? Oh, come on. Let me put it this way. I would rather be strung up by my feet and be a human pinata for a gaggle of sugar cracked out six year olds in the entire batting starting lineup for the New York Yankees than socialize right now. So you wanna go out later or something? Let me put it this way. I would rather be dipped in a barrel of honey and fish oil and chained to a tree outside of a hungry bear's cave. <laughs> I would rather be tied up to a Kentucky Derby champion horse that just got pumped full of steroids and adrenaline and dragged across eight football fields full of hot coal. Okay, you guys ready to go? Yikes! Mm -hmm. Whoa! What? Honey, you might wanna... What? Fix your face! Yeah. Thank you for your subtlety. Fine, I'll be right back. <sighs> Fix your face, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's give this Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer a try. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow! Holy moly! What now? Your face looks so bright and luminous. Oh, thanks, yeah, Riley. Yeah, the usual very noticeably dark, sad aging circles have just vanished. It it's a miracle. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, if only it could last all day, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it does have 24-hour wear, too. <laughs> oh, another miracle. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Mom, can I have some more candy? No, you can't have candy until you get home. I don't need you bouncing off the walls in here. But no, not another word until we get home. <sighs> oh, great. <sighs> you know you're speeding, ma'am? Oh, I had no idea, officer. I, I really like your uniform, though. My husband likes it, too. Damn it. License registration. I'll look for it. Mm-hmm. Hey there, little missy. Mama's going a little fast, eh? You okay? She said I'm not allowed to speak. What? Not until we get home. And then she promised me candy. She said- What? Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. What? Why? Step out. Okay, what I do? Listen, officer, we can talk about this, okay? You know what? You know what? I got a twin sister. She might have done something, but I, it, it wasn't me. I swear to God. No. Hey. <laughs> hey, Todd. Long work day. Whew. Don't I know it. <laughs> oh, you don't like your food? You haven't touched it. Oh, no, I'm just trying to find a video to watch. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Oh, before I start eating, I just like to find something to watch, so. Oh, okay. Uh, what, you can't eat while you're looking? I mean, I can. <laughs> I just like to find it first so I can enjoy my food. So you can enjoy your food unless you're watching a screen? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, then do it. Right now? Right now. Okay, fine. Great. I can't, I can't. You I can, you can. I don't, where do you, where do you even look? Anywhere. Anywhere. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> look at me go. Oh my, look at that. Oh, Never mind, you can watch your fit. Adam, Adam. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hello, everybody, and welcome <laughs> back to my YouTube it was channel. That's funny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Nazareth, Riley, you can't sneak up on me like that, okay? I got a weak heart and a loose asshole. I could have died and defecated myself at the same time. I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, you made me and Pop Pop pancakes. Oh, right. His pancakes are still on the counter. Ernie, come get your pancakes. What? 
Your pancakes. What? Your blueberry pancakes. They're bombing the United States. Take cover. Call an airstrike. Anyway, can we build a fort? Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, we're back. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's coming from over there. What the? Hey mom, how did you? Is that Chad? Hey, Janet. <laughs> What's up? Do you got a boyfriend? No, but I have pepper spray. All right. <laughs> this is the second best fort club I've ever been to. This party sucks. Sir, can we go? <laughs> Give me a minute, Walter. I'm working the boom magic on this fine lady. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> you look exotic. <laughs> Is that the bar? All right, here's your drink. Thank you. And it's on. Ma! Oh, hey, my little ravioli. I thought you stopped drinking. I did, in the mornings. Where's dad? He's under the bar. This ain't a drill. Oh, my God. You built this? Yeah. All right, well, let's see it. <laughs> Ten dollar door fee. There's a door fee? That's a pretty good price. Yeah, 20 if you want to get downstairs. Downstairs? What's downstairs? Fight club. You're running a fight Shh. club? We don't talk about fight club. Oh my good mother Mary of God. Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose asshole. <laughs> Oh my sweet mother Mary of God, Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose rectum. I could have shit myself and died. Oh sweet mother Mary of Joseph, Riley, you can't do that. I got a weak heart and a loose asshole. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. Where did I put my glasses? See, Mom. Oh, where are you headed? Uh, the mall with some friends. Oh, you know what? I need some things from the store too. So maybe I'll just tag along. And or you can just text me. I'll grab whatever you need. Okay, see ya. Or, yeah, okay, for sure. <laughs> Don't talk to anybody with a mustache. She'll come around one of these days, honey. Oh, what do you know, Christopher? Okay. I swore I put my glasses on the table. I just- I Hey, mom, I'm going shopping. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna ask if you wanted to come with me. And don't talk to anybody with a mustache. Wait, what? Do you wanna join me? We can go get Starbucks before if you want. Mom? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I just kinda grabbed my glass. Oh, look at that. I had my purse and we can go. And we can go, for sure. <gasps> okay, I'll meet you in the car. Yeah, I'll see you in the car. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> Christopher, it's happening! That's great, honey. <laughs> yeah, she wants to be seen in public with me. I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know. What was that? What? Yeah, no, yeah. I'll see you in the car. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Everything's good. Everything's good. <laughs> okay. What do I wear? I don't know. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh, wow. You look amazing. <laughs> so you think I don't look amazing every day? Oh, no, I just, I just. Oh no! Like, so I'm only attractive if I put ten pounds of makeup on my face and show off all my assets, regardless of how little they are. No, nope. I raised the bar too high too soon. Now you know what I'm capable of looking like. It all just goes downhill from here. Babe, no, it's. I don't even want to go anymore. No, babe. Come no, on. no. I'll just take off my makeup and clothes and crawl into my little troll hole and wait for the sun to go down, so you don't have to look at me when I come back out. Okay, babe. I'm all ready. <laughs> Oh, you look amazing. Uh, thanks. I'm gonna see which one of my castmates does the best. Monet! <laughs> you guys vote who does the best. Let's go, go. Oh, you're wearing a mask? Oh, day. <laughs> go. Oh, day. Oh, damn it. Go. Oh, day. Go. Oh, day. Oh, day. Go. Go. Oh, day. Go. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. What's good? Yeah, go. Hi! <laughs> Update, the stars have aligned. For those of you who don't know, I've been going back and forth with Nickelback on TikTok. We got some beef and uh, Chad Kruger accepted my chat off. <laughs> And it just so happens that today they're shooting a music video an hour away from me and it's an open invitation to the public so you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna crash it. And you best believe I'm gonna be taking Chad to burn the other Chad to the ground tonight. This is the fit today. You better take a photograph if you want it to last longer. Bye little floof. I will be back. I won't be far away for far too long.
Well, first we gotta stop for coffee to feed the machine. I'm the one standing in lines for overpriced coffee. That was the last one, I swear. Amber, who do you think's the better Chad? Chad Kroger. That's not what I paid you to say. Pretty little lady with a pretty pink thong. If she could daddy hit not around that long, doesn't care about the money she could be with anybody. Any funny other honey wanted you all alone. Okay, we're here. I can sense Chad in the atmosphere. I can feel it on my pit vipers. I have infiltrated the premises. They gave me a full access pass. <laughs> They're putting me in the music video. Look at this. <laughs> Your services are no longer required. Can I please have the sunglasses? So that's it. She's singing. I'm out. Yeah, man, you've been out chatted. Give us the glasses. You can take my spot in the band, but you will never take my sunglasses. Hey, everybody. I don't usually do vlogs, but I thought I'd take you to set today. Let's go. This was the fit of choice today, and yes, I'm wearing a fanny pack. If you have an issue with it, I'll pack your fanny. What? Anyway, uh, I grabbed my suitcase, and I'm out the door. I was in my Uber, and he was playing some jazzy jazz. I was kind of getting into it, not gonna lie. His name was T, like the letter, which I didn't know could be a thing, but it was pretty badass. Anyway, I got to set and uh, saw all my castmates, which was cool beans, and then uh, we all had to take a COVID test for safety purposes. I'm not pregnant. Love that. All right. And then we uh, I stole a coffee from the fridge. I don't think I was allowed to, but I did anyway. And I wandered around the set and touched things I probably wasn't supposed to touch, but they had really cool props because like Star Wars was filmed here or some of it. Was, anyway, uh, me and Steven were having a good time anyway. And then I had to get my face fixed because I was looking extra potato-y that day. And then we had a safety meeting just in case the place blew up into smithereens, which was great. And then I had to get into my badass villain costume ready for the worst transition you've ever seen. Boom. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. But I look pretty cute. You know, this is giving me L O T R Star Wars realness, and then I caught Stephen He doing pump up push ups. I see you, Stephen. I see you. <laughs> and then uh, we started filming. We started filming. Uh, Jennings is shirtless here. He's annoying how jacked he is. Screw you, Jennings. Anyway, and then Ian and I filmed a TikTok, which was badass. Go check him out. And then we uh, breaked for lunch, ate some suspicious burritos, and then ran lines because um, none of us know our lines. <laughs> and then we got back to set, and I was really feeling my Daenerys Stormborn moment right there. I was about to yell Dracarys at everybody. And here's Alan living his Corella Deville Maleficent moment. He was great. Then at 9.30 p.m., we wrapped after an 11-hour day of filming. It was nutty. These people are all pretending to be my friends. Yeah. But in reality, they are all of my friends, and we had a great day. While everyone else is yes. partying, Chris, I'm doing this. Yeah, Chris, no, you gotta oh, sneak I'm up. I'm about to chase the chicken. I'm about to go Rocky Balboa on this you be like, hey, You're about, to be, you're about you. to be so fast. Everybody's fine, okay? I just want to take you from behind. That's not... <laughs> 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 what happens when I... Can it whip its head up? like a snake? Probably. I don't know how chicken snakes work. Uh, like little dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a chicken. Chris, are you okay? That was like a raw, steroid ridden chicken that came up. Hey, Jacqueline, can I sit here? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Beautiful day, eh? Yeah, gorgeous. I think I might go for a bike ride later. Oh, yeah, I hate cycling. Oh, I hate it too. I just f cycling. Honestly, my sister makes me go with her. I'd, I'd much rather. Uh, what do you like to do? I prefer running. Oh, I love running. I love, I love running. Oh, no way. We should run together after work. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. And then we can um, go to this bar that I know this new one. I don't drink. No, oh, yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> I just really like the free nut medley they put out. It's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, since when did you start wearing bracelets? Oh, yeah, I just, I just love them. It really accents the wrist. I love them too. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, it's crazy. That's, that's wild. Wild. Wow, I can't believe we're so similar. Yeah. It's... What are the odds? <laughs> Little did she know, I had successfully morphed my personality into hers because I lacked the capability of developing my own personality and completely depend on other people to manufacture the purpose of my own existence. Hi, Mrs. Henderson. So what is it that you claim my daughter did? She swore in class. Oh, well, she doesn't know any swear words. Susie, did you swear in class? See, no, and I believe her. So maybe you just misunderstood. Hey, Mrs. Henderson, sorry I'm late. What did she do now? She swore in class. Did you swear in class? No, oh, <laughs> you're full of shit. Go wait in the car. No, no, I don't wanna hear it. Go wait in the car, you trucker. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed. Just know that this will be handled. She's gonna come to school tomorrow and probably not be able to sit down. So just don't even worry about that, all right? Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After I'm done! Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to Yanona that way? You did. 
literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. Oh, what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was f Ma! F mm-hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always f this, f that, f you, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time. I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid. You're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it. I... Okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the f*** out. That's on you. I don't... Oh, honey, look, it's a Fendi. That's fun. I've never heard of that before. I didn't realize that that was here. Hey, honey, honey, we need sunscreen. We need sunscreen. We need to reapply. It's only, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, what is that one? Is that Bavac? 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 I don't know. I don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Hey, hey, sunscreen time. Sunscreen time. Oh, honey, it's gutchy. Oh, that's interesting. It kind of sounds like a... Another word for a vagina. Alan Siaga, what the hell is that, sweetie? I think it's a type of fitness class. Oh, I ain't signing up for that horse shit. Oh, honey, I got a lot of swass building up. I got a blot. Oh, look, it's a Prada. I've never seen that before in real life. That's that's nice. So when do you think this thing starts, huh? I don't know, but do you think I need to reapply? Oh, Versace. That sounds like a type of pasta. Is that a type of pasta? Let's take a photo. My hat in the way. I got a new outfit and I just, does it look okay? I'm not sure, like, I think it's cute though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? Okay. Girl, that face with that suit. Okay, um. You look great, Billy Blue Jean. <laughs> okay, okay, um. Oh yeah. Is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. Lose <laughs> your character! Sex in the City? What? Uh, I, yeah, but I only watch it to study how women's brains work to apply it to real life interactions with them, so. So you studying right now? You gonna stick with that narrative? Yeah, but I also watch shows like Band of Brothers and Game of Thrones on Max to study and observe real life situations so I can apply them in my real life situations. Real life situations? Like what? Battling dragons? Maybe! Sex in the City is my guilty pleasure, okay? Sarah Jessica Parker is a national treasure. That's what I thought. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. I put myself back in the narrative. So, I'm thinking if we move together, we can kill all these guys and go our separate ways. Yeah? Sounds good. Holly? Hi, Puddin. Miss me? Oh, you clever little minx. How did you escape from Arkham? Batman sprung me so I could find you. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family to remind you. You thought you could just make fancy little clothes and toys, did you? Well, you need to get on my level. For you see, I've been gathering an army because I thought this was a war, not dress up. So feast your eyes upon this, my friends. I suggest you step up your game because my army is growing.
and I shall not be beat. Your move. Who's got another package? I got another package. Kevin's here this time. Because everybody loves Kevin. All right, we're here. Kevin. Kevin. Watch the car. Just attitude. Okay, I'm home. I'm going to open this one first. It's from Germany. There's an envelope. There's a shirt that says, Tiny Hands Are My Destiny, President of the Tiny Hands. <laughs> I love this. Thank you. And the letter is lovely. Thank you, Renee. Somebody sent me a penguin. Okay, next. Glow in the dark, Tiny Hands. I'm so excited for these. Oh my gosh, they're stress relief balls. Because you guys know I'd be stressed. I don't know what this is. I gotta open it. It's a tiny little violin or cello for my tiny hands. Thank you. Take 84. <laughs> Shit. 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 It's so nice to finally get out and go to dinner without the kids. Ah, agreed. Hello, welcome. How may I help you and your friend? Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> uh. Do you have a reservation? No, I've never needed one here before. No. Well, we are completely full, so we cannot serve you. Then why do I see four empty tables right there? Those are reserved. For who? Other people. Oh, I do not see any other people here. <laughs> They're running late, I guess. All of them? Yes. Let me ask you this, Todd. Do you like your fingers? Oh no. I don't understand the question. Let me rephrase. Do you like your fingers being attached to the rest of your body? Are you implying that you would take off my fingers? I did not say that. Did I say that, Janet? She didn't say that. You said that. Uh, but now that we have that all sorted, you can sit this in one of those four tables that we both know nobody is coming to sit in tonight. And you can keep your pretty little fingers so you can go home to your extremely unsatisfied wife and actually put them to use for once. Deal? Right this way. <laughs> you weren't actually gonna take his fingers, right? Of course not. <laughs> okay. So, Amanda, why do you want this job? Um, you know, at the end of the day, I just need money. Okay, um, are you passionate about this job at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be, uh, Reception. receptionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so what have you done for work in the past? I used to be an Uber driver, yeah. Big people person, lot of five-star reviews. Oh, nice. And why did you stop doing that? I got bummed for forcing people to give me five-star reviews. Okay. Um, do you have any weaknesses? Um, I know I look like a supermodel athlete, Kay, but I have a really hard time lifting heavy furniture, and every time I walk up a staircase, I sound like an asthmatic Darth Vader. Yeah, I don't mean physically, I mean in general. Oh, um, I'm not that good at reading people. Oh, really? That's hard to believe. Thank you for your sympathies. It's an everyday struggle. Shame. Shame. Uh, besides money, why, why do you want this job? To be honest, I was sitting across the street at a cafe and I saw a lot of fit men walking in and out of here. This is a marriage counseling office. And? We're, we're trying to get people back together. And if they don't, who's gonna be here like Shaquille O'Neal, ready for the rebound? Me. Put that down as a strength. Oh my gosh, I just had the most intrusive thought. Oh, I get those all the time. What was yours? <laughs> I just imagine trying to shove this entire muffin into my mouth at once. <laughs> oh, that's that's not really an, an intrusive thought. That's more of an impulsive thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. An intrusive thought would be, I want to shove your muffin down your throat like it's a tube sock and a vacuum pipe. <laughs> Hypothetically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So intrusive would be, I want to pick up this muffin and throw it at the wall as hard as I can. <laughs> It's close. It's close. Intrusive would be more like, I want to throw this stale rock hard muffin at an innocent bystander walking on the street, preferably a child holding a balloon to see it topple over like a bowling pin while it watches the only thing that brought it joy that day float away into the abyss, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hypothetically. 
Oh my god, you're literally my dream girl. I got mental illness and I joke about it. And if I can't joke about it, it will destroy me. I complain why I'm single, but I don't talk to people. I just sit in my bed, talk to the voices in my head. Oh my god! So, what do you think? Chris, did you hear me? I hear you. Okay. What are you staring at? Nothing, man. I'm just stuck. What do you mean you're stuck? Can't look away. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I'm in a dissociative state of nirvana right now. What the? Just stop staring. I can't just stop, man. It's not that simple. You gotta let it run its course. Wait, no, you don't. Yes, I do. It feels too good. What are you talking about? Just look away! It feels like both my eyeballs are sitting in hammocks made of pillowy clouds injected with ecstasy, surrounded by the sound of children's laughter, all while being held by the sweet embrace of a lover I thought I had previously lost. The f*** is that supposed to mean? It means I can't f look away! Oh my god. Phew. This should be good. <laughs> oh, let's see. Va. Sure. No, yeah. wait, wait. Let me guess. Let me guess. What is the most basic white boy tattoo? Uh, a lion with a crown. No, no. A Roman numeral clock with an anchor in front of it. <laughs> yeah. No? <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably like barbed wire. <laughs> trees growing up his arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's one of trees. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Or an infinity sign. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> It's probably like a compass inside a rose. Ah, with a snake around it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Laugh it up, all right? Because I tricked you. Okay, I haven't got a tattoo yet, but I'm going to get a tattoo. And I knew you guys would make fun of me for it, so now I know what not to get. So suck it. Jeez, what's his problem? <laughs> okay, this is how men see me. see me <laughs> I'm a hot mess mate this is why I'm single how my friends see me <laughs> oh, it's a nice cafe there's no seats open though yeah yeah Oh, ma'am, I see you're almost done your food. Are you almost done here? Can we borrow some of the chairs you're not using? No, I'm working and my bags are on the chairs, so. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm just gonna go up and order. Do you want a croissant? Yes, please. Okay, just wait here. We'll figure out where to sit later. Stop staring at me, you little creep. Get lost. Ow, you're hurting me. What the, what are you doing? No, oh. I don't want any candy, strange lady. No, no, it's okay. Stranger danger. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, Riley, oh, look at that, there's an empty table. <laughs> yeah, crazy. That worked out. Oh, and I had to order you a muffin because a guy in front of us got the last croissant. I'll be right back. I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, 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 okay? You're missing the point, okay? Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the Hollister model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, 
bacon soda, a six pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a whirlpool fridge. Oh my, what I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see, I see, okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I was a lesbian, but I just can't wrap my head around the regime. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them. And you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? Hello. Hey, yo. Oh, give me the phone. Hey. Hey, guess what I got us for girls' night tonight? Wine? Wodka? N no, but, but that's part of it. I got us the VIP Nation package for the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. Oh, sick. Cool. Pass. Oh, what? You don't like them? Man, my stomach does not do well with spicy peppers. Spicy juice, but not spicy peppers. No, Katrina, it's a concert. Why would anybody eat chili peppers live? No, they're performing. Who would want to see that? Anyway, the package comes with a VIP entrance, a VIP lounge, and premium seats that we get to sit in. Hey, that sounds amazing. I'm in. And food and beverages of the alcoholic variety. I'm in. Ah, okay, it's tight, but we're done. <laughs> you sure about that? You got your shirts? Yep. Pants? Mm-hmm. Socks? Yes. Toiletries? Yep. Shoes? Damn it. It's always something. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Probably panic. <gasps> no. Wait here. I just took to panicking. Maybe cry a little bit. You at least need one pair, and it needs to be, like, a good pair of shoes. But... Ha! What are those? Vessies, baby. Comfy, stylish, easy to slip on. What about the unpredictable weather in New York? It could rain. 100% waterproof. Okay, but how do you plan on fitting those into the suitcase? That's the best part. They're easily compactable. And packable. By John she's done it. Ha! Done. Why are you British now? I don't know. I'm you. Right. Check out Vessi at Vessi.com. And keep your socks dry. Yes. Right. So recently, Selena acquired chickens, and she named one after me. This one is Chris. And I, too, have acquired chickens. And I'm naming, I'm naming the black and white one Selena. And the other ones, this is Berta. You are the this is Betty. It's a good day for singing a song. And she's got a little white on her. And this is Brenda. Brenda's a bitch. Let's go see if these birds laid any eggs. Let's see. We got eggs? Oh, damn! We got eggs. Mama's making eggs. Look, wow, we got four. We eating good today, boy. We Selena. There you go. Ow. Shit, okay. You're lucky I love you. There you go. How you go? Head move. Ow, Selena! Oh, oh shit. Oh, not all of them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where could you guys go? I don't know how to get them back in. <laughs> Look at, oh, Berta. Berta's like, how'd you guys get out there? Berta, here. Come on out, yep. We need to go back. No, this way. Berta, don't. Berta, this way. This way. Don't, don't. No attitude, Brenda. This is how to herd chickens 101. <laughs> Selena, oh, oh, what a good girl. Look at her. <laughs> oh, Bre <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Brenda, 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 Brenda! 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 <laughs> Brenda! <laughs> <laughs>
Jessica's gonna try. Oh yeah, teamwork, 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 race the dream work. Good job. Let's there you go. go. Oh, good. Oh, good. good oh wait, no, that's Berta. That's not Brenda. Good job. Betty. Come on, Betty. Oh, good job, Betty. All right, Brenda. Let's go, get your butt moving. Oh gosh, Jessica's got Over that mom here. authority. Let's go. Yes, oh, Jessica. We got the chickens back in the cage. There is someone walking behind you. Okay, everybody's doing it, so I might as well. What are my red flags? We. No, they're not. They're cute. Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that bad? I'm a busy person. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, and I was just like, excuse me? Oh, my goodness. What? You totally looked and sounded like mom when you told that story. Oh, no, I did not. You're doing it again? Oh, goodness gracious. You... Okay, what do you think of this new little sculpture I got? It's kind of funky. <gasps> what do you think about that one? It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh my God. Hey, don't you go using the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Hokey Dinah. I got a new little guitar and I'm gonna test it out, but this is also very therapeutic for me. I highly recommend you try this. Even if it sounds like shit, which mine will. Ready? What's in your head? In your head, zombie, zombie, zombie. What's in your head? In your head, zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh. Highly recommend. Shit. 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 Hey, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the evil bin. Sick. <sighs> what you added? Uh, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No! A two-star restaurant DJ. A <sighs> couple years ago, but no! You seriously don't know what I'm doing? Oh, oh, I know. You work at Subway. No. Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. I'm going golfing. Oh, never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay, jeez, take my money, okay? I'm leaving. I'll get another ride. But Gotta take this out more often. Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the? I know it's bulging a little bit here, but it's it. It's it. Do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't. Is it the shirt? Is it? I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it? It's too Y two K, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And these these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know. I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No. You think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should, should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. I should, should I change? Should I change? Okay. Yeah. I'll change. You good? What? Oh, no. I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I don't know. Intrusive thought. Oh. Okay, does that happen a lot? Yeah, with pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay, what about that sink? Put your hand in the carburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <laughs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow. Okay. So you have these thoughts like every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. But you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No.
Hi guys, so I know most of you know that I've been struggling with recovery and mental health a lot lately. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I just do for me that really help ground me and make me feel good about myself. So come with me to see what I do before I start work. First, I make my third cup of coffee of the day. Don't worry, this one was decaffeinated, I just lied. Then I look in the mirror and do my morning affirmations. You are not a piece of shit. This was supposed to be a joke, but that actually kind of felt good. I highly recommend. I wanted to make and eat one of my fear foods, if you will, on my own, but then I went to my pantry and realized I didn't have any syrup, which I think is punishable by death in Canada. So I ordered IHOP instead. And this is something I actually loathe doing, but I'm gonna make my bed. I heard somewhere like if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind or some bullshit like that. And not gonna lie, it, it actually kind of works. It makes me feel more at peace. Who's your daddy? Cue two camera angle transition moment. Slay. And it's still early, so I decided to paint a little and put my coffee down and forget about it and need to microwave it later. Painting is something that's always been really therapeutic to me and I can kind of just turn my brain off, which is really nice. And I listen to like really nice, calm music while I do it too. Now it's time to feed the chickens. I got watermelon that's kind of going bad in my fridge, so I'm gonna go feed the ladies. Anything to do with animals, whether it's Kevin or my chickens or whatever, just always makes me feel better, like no matter what. And I love just being outside in general, but caring for these little ladies is a bonus for sure. I forgot the watermelon was bad. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little self-care video. I know it's not my usual content, but I challenge you to do a little something for yourself today too, okay? Bye, beautiful. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my show. It's me, Drew, and we have a lot of guests to get through. So let's start with Owen Wilson. Wow, thanks, Drew. It's great to be here. It's so great to have you. And you, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh my God, I hope it's okay. I had one of those Polish hot dogs backstage. Oh, I don't think we serve hot dogs backstage. Oh, I was talking about one of your grapes, which he has a good one. Jesus Christ, I hope you didn't take it raw. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, everybody. Ariana, are you happy to be here today? <laughs> yeah. Great segue to our first musical guest, Cher. Do you believe in love after love? After love, after love, after love. I do now. Christopher Walken, did you enjoy the performance? I did. And I didn't. It left me wanting more. I gotta sneeze. Okay. While we wait for him to finish, our next musical guest is Dolly Parton, singing Jolene with realistic facial expressions. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging you every place, don't take my man. I don't know who Jolene is, but I know I don't want to be her. But I know who I do want to be, Emma Stone. Oh, stop, Drew. I hope it's okay, I brought my super relatable friend, Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, stop, I'm barely relatable. <laughs> Where's the pizza? <laughs> I don't know where the pizza is, but I know I'm supposed to be here on this earth. Oh, and why is that, Matthew McConaughey? I was sitting outside with Owen and we were staring at the sky. Oh yeah, we were at the park. We just kept staring and realized how small we are and how insignificant our problems were and how we should just start living life, man. Yeah, plus we're good looking rich white men, so that takes the edge off. Hachu! Bless you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ashley, look at me. You lucky? I hate to go, but I just had to redirect my cooking. Sorry I'm late to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries, come on in. Who is that woman? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where is everybody? Mom! Oh, hey! Mom! Where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No. Where is she? She should be here by now. Maybe what? let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Da, miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit. What do you mean? I am not going to lie. I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning. I did not realize she had this much potential. Duh, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Duh, reconfirming my suspicions. We are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful. I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad. Janet? Holy, did you change your... Everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Yeah, so this is the house. It's great. Then, oh, this is Kevin. Oh, 
Yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What What was that? What, what just happened? Oh, Kevin's just, just talking to you. <laughs> what? Not because I'm a super good boy and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house, among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that! This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk! Kevin does. No, he doesn't. He's a dog. You know, oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know. Wait, so how do you do this? We just explained it. <laughs> if you know the words to the song, just sing along. I want you to want me. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to break free. Oh, no, no you man. Oh, <laughs> if you know the words to this song, sing along. Ain't the what? Ain't the <laughs> do another word? Ain't the other? Ain't the other man? Yeah. Uh, uh, if, if you know yeah. the words to this song, sing along. I'm sailing, sailing away. Set an open course for the birds and sea. No. If you know the words to the song, <laughs> sing along. Somebody once told me the world. Close, 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 close. I'm coming. Come on, close, you piece of shit. Woo, made it. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. Great, alone in the elevator with a man, and my phone's dead, so I can't even look at it. Oh my god, did he just check me out? I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. Oh my god, what if we got stuck in the elevator, and we talked for hours, and we fell in love? <laughs> oh, wait. What if this is like a Ted Bunny situation and he's super cute and charming at the start but then takes me back to my hotel room and has his way with me and then takes my head as a souvenir? Oh my god, he's not checking me out. He's sizing up his next victim. I have to fart so bad. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, let's just look at our self-defense save TikToks on our phone, okay? F it's dead. Hold it in, buddy. What the f*** was that these? Oh, I'm done for. Of course this would happen to me. I can't just have a nice meet and cute. I gotta get stuck in the elevator with a guy that's gonna eat me out Jeffrey Dahmer style. Maybe if I just let it out in little increments. Oh, and I had half a cake left in the fridge. This is the worst day ever. Nope, almost shit myself. Oh, thank God, it's almost at my floor. Okay, get ready. Just a couple more floors, big boy. Oh, shit. Close, 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 close. Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town, and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Super cool. Ah, uh, so you two... You two are together. Yes. Yep. And that's awesome. That's aw congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. Super nice stoked for you. I'm here for it, and I'm queer for it. Is is that? You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over, and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall. Jazzy toddler. And I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose, you know, just pumping my fist in full support of your gay train ride. <laughs> All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love, you know? I just want you to know that. So... <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. Do, 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 do.
Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Can you pass me a banana? Why do you have to do that? My name it. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. Be like what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. See, isn't this nice? See, isn't this nice? Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one-hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. At least I don't look like you. Douche nozzle. <laughs>Oh yeah, <laughs> cryptocurrency. Anyway, so Would you um, look at the time. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. You know, I just think Andrew Tate has a point. No. <laughs> oh! Are you okay? Oh, it's shoving in my throat. It's just uh anyway, you were saying, oh so yeah, not to be racist or anything, but you like You know, my illegitimate father gifted me a coffee ground slip and slide for my half birthday. So, what's your body count? So I was thinking of heading back to my place, uh, you wanna join me? Oh no, me? I think I'm about to faint. Uh, uh, ow, shit, I was supposed to catch her. How to dress to attract a man, a tutorial. Rule number one, make sure your hair is always long and lustrous and never put up. Rule number two, make sure to show a little skin, especially those stems, ladies. Rule number three, footwear should be dainty and delicate. Rule number four, show off that waist at all times. Rule number five, always have a pleasant expression on your face. I promise you will attract a- Are you talking about Marie Antoinette? Yeah. I heard a thing or two about her. Is, is a seat taken? No, it's not really a seat, but okay. Hey, I like you. Oh, hello, I, I like you too. We should hang out. I would like that very much. Let's hang out. You're so great. You are also so great. We should we should make this a thing. A what? A thing like like I would be with you and you would be with me and we would just just see each other, you know, cuz we like each other and we think we each other are great. I hear what you're saying and no. Oh, do you, you don't like me anymore? No, I do a lot and I depend on you a lot and you're a great person and I really like hanging out with you. Okay, but you, you don't you don't want to be with me. No, but I want to hang out still, you know. So you want to be with me, but you don't want to be with me? Yeah, like, we're not exclusive, but like, you know? No. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? No, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Christina Lee Hallowell Collins. Oh, that's full name. You're f***ed. What did you do? I, I don't know. Christina. Shit. <laughs> eavesdrop? Eavesdrop. Did you skip class yesterday? Uh, oh, damn. That's right, she did. Oh, shit. Got two options here. She can deny, 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 or plead guilty and cry. Yeah, yeah. As long as she doesn't. Are you dumb? I would never do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's like rule number one in mom's courthouse. If you attack, you get whacked. Yeah, what a dumbass. Wait, wait, wait. I don't hear the wax. Jessica Leanna Hallowell Collins, get down here. Is she calling a witness? She's calling a witness. Oh, no, man. I don't need the time for this dunce last mom for not snitching on her. Now, you got this, man. Get it together. <laughs> I can't go back there, man. I won't be able to DM Jason on MSN. Jessica! <laughs> you can have my Tamagotchi. Really? Sick. Oi, go. Oi, more passion. More passion. More passion. More energy. More energy. More footwork. More footwork. More footwork. More passion. More hey, I'm gonna go grab some coffee. Maybe go to the mall. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. What? Uh, are, are you busy or something? Yeah, kinda. I have a project I'm working on right now. Oh, well you can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'm broke as shit right now, so. No big deal, I'll pay for you, so. Really? Yeah, whatever. Thank you, man, that's really cool of you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just finish this up and then we'll go and... You don't have any friends. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Alright, go by yourself then, I don't care. No, it's fine, I'm sorry, let's go. Only if you buy me a new outfit. Fine. What if, and just hear me out for a second, 
you shun them. This is not a coincidence. It's not the algorithm, okay? If you're coming across this, you need to hear it. This is divine energy, okay? Spirits, tell me what they need to hear. Oh, half the deck, okay? Ten of spades. Ten of spades. This means he is thinking about you, okay? He's thinking about you. He does not talk to you, but he's thinking about you next. His name might be Jack, might start with a J, maybe an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, O, Z, but could be it. Ace, he is the one. He's the one you've been waiting for and you need to wait four years. Just go wait four years, love. And like the video and also contact me uh, privately to get a private reading. And oh, 11, 11 on the clock. I don't know what that means. Okay, what's something that's gross that tastes delicious? Oh, Say it on God. one, two, three. Hot dogs. Cottage cheese. Sam's mom. What? Oh, cottage cheese. See, it tastes good, but I'm a texture person, so I just can't. Can we back up for a sec? Did you just say my mom? Sure, but if you put it on toast with tomatoes and avo like Sam's mom does, don't even notice. That's a game changer. Good one, Sam. Yeah. What? And hot dogs are delicious. I don't give a flying fudge knuckle what anybody says. Right? And everybody's always like, do you know what those are made out of? And I'm like, I don't care. Put it in my mouth hole. Enough about the hot dogs. Can we talk about what just happened yeah. here? I don't care if it was made out of Sam's mom's luscious hair. I would still eat it. Straight up. Ugh, I got such a craving now. Same. Deborah, man. <laughs> did, did you get with my mom? Whoa, bro. You sound insane right now, dude. Wild. But you said Sam's mom. I didn't say that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> did you? For real? Hey, 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 what was that? Hmm? Are you f***ing with me right now? Dude, yes, calm down. Your mom, on the other hand. Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After I'm done! Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to you, Nona that way? You did, literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. Oh, what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was fuck. Ma! Fuck! Mm hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, you know? <laughs> oh, my okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time. I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid. You're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it. Okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the f*** out. That's on you. I don't... say if your friend jumped off a cliff would you where's the cliff start the car put it in google maps fastest route okay we're not stopping for nuggets or bathroom breaks we're going for a ride all right you about to see the fattest sin you've ever seen yes i was recently incarcerated due to the fact that i broke into chris's house but only to find the truth now that i'm on house arrest i have my husband tom doing the investigating for me She's lost her mind. The only reason I do this is because if I don't, she spoils the hockey game outcomes and deletes my recordings. Honey, I'm home. Oh, hey, did you do that recon on Chris's house like I asked? No. Oilers 2, Red Wings 3. Damn it, Deborah. He's actually got some promising evidence on Chris. She has this book. I think it's what she writes all of her crazy oh. ideas in. I don't know. So we gotta get that book, show it to the authorities, and get her sent to the loony bin where she belongs. Maybe she's just having fun. She is terrorizing this neighborhood, Tom, putting on different costumes, acting like different people. She's a menace to society. Come on, Debra. Whose side are you on, Tom? I think this is getting out of hand. Golden Knights 2, Avalanche 3. Debra! Hey, everybody, welcome back to class.
I have your test results and, and Riley, we're, we're gonna start with you, okay? Unfortunately, you failed. What? How? Oh. Oh, how is this possible? Well, for question one, for example, eight plus eight, you put two Olafs. Yeah, because there's two snowmen. It's still wrong. I how dare you? Riley is absolute prodigy. You are just too small-minded to appreciate her genius. No. It is not her fault she has beautiful mind and face that you cannot understand. Okay. What? She is absolutely beautiful inside and out. You will pass her. No, I can't do that. You will, because she is like sister to us. Da, she is like very important to me. I can't just pass- I have hacked into your computer and found Tinder. I am messaging back big D69. Stop! Okay, you pass, Riley. Oh, day, thank you. Have a nice day, ma'am. Oh, sock, Katrina. Chad. Huh. Oh, you picked up some no-name simple check items. Sick. What? Oh, the simple check just means it's made with 10 ingredients you don't want in your food, like artificial flavoring. No, what is this you're talking about? The brand. What brand? No name. What do you mean the brand has no name? No, the brand is no name. What brand has no name? The brand is called no name with the simple check. There is nothing simple about having no name. Oh my god, whatever. Enjoy your no name simple check items. Oh, no name and simple. Exactly. Just like you. What? Oh. This yeah. girl is doing something very special. She's doing like a what? sketch comedy. Comedy is much more difficult to do than drama. And she's playing different characters. This is a mark of an artist. I mean, I'd like to talk to her and create a show. I love her character with the glasses. That's when she's very different. She says, sit down, sit down. That's good movie. Sit down. Oh, what should I do? This guy's in there. And they, this is the best line she has right here. What do you do? Get a clone with a spoon? That's funny. She's funny. She's willing to have people laugh at her. Comedians are loved more uh, by uh, public than, than drama people. I started with Billy Crystal and, and Robin Williams, and I can tell you one thing. An onion can make you cry, but there's no vegetable that can make you laugh. What? What's up, you waste of oxygen? Hey, Chris, can you pass me some apple juice, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll get it. There we go. Thanks. H who are you? <laughs> it's your brother, me, Jacob. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <sighs> Is everybody ready? Ready to go, Janet. Why could Trina get the front seat? I called shotgun. And if you try to argue with me, I will use a real shotgun. Jeez, can I at least have the aux cord? Why, so you can listen to Smash Mouth and Nickelback the entire ride? Don't you speak like that about Chad Kruger, okay? Chad's gotta stick together. Mom, can we watch a movie? Duh, I would very much like to watch Red Sparrow. Is that appropriate? Yes, yes, very educational. It is about a Russian ballerina that gets recruited into a Russian intelligence service and needs to use her body as a weapon. No. Then can we please watch Frozen 2? No, Riley, I am not listening to that soundtrack. Please! I am putting my foot down. No. I'm proud of you, Janet. <laughs> That's it. I'm pulling the car over. Out, you think I can eat at a time like this? <laughs> just, just bring up some hot pockets. <laughs> Tyler, he wants to get back together. <laughs> Song lyrics about second chances. <laughs> 
I have no idea how this happened so fast. Um, I'm super unprepared. Um, I don't know what to do for four million uh, if I get there. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but what I want to do is hand it off to you guys and let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see for four million because I think that would be super fun to just let you guys choose this time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm so unprofessional. Okay. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, thank you, bye. I'm talking about, talking about Tracy? No, 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 you mean like, like Tracy with the ass? Tracy with the, with the Honda? Shit, well. Oops, baby, fuck up on your bitch like oopsie daisy. Never knew that was your boo, baby. Hit her five times in the coupe, cool Mercedes. Can you get me a glass of water? <sighs> yeah, one sec. Thank you. Hi, Mom. <gasps> Can you put on Frozen on my iPad, please? Now? Please. Fine. Thank you. Hey, Mom. Hmm? Can I please have a snack? Yeah, I'll get you a snack. Okay, thank you. Hey, Mom. What, Riley? What, what, what? I just wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you, too. And can we also go to McDonald's for chicken nuggies? No, we are not going to McDonald's. Drawing popular TikTokers, part three. Call me Chris. That's me. Oh, my hair does not look like that right now. That's a nice line. That's... <gasps> I wish my eyes sparkled like that. That's... <laughs> Look at those tiny hands. Call me Chris. I hope you like it. Ah! And for the rest of you all, like, I don't have a tattoo, share, but I'm going to get this follow, and it's going to be on my back. I should do next. I'm just kidding, but it's I love amazing. it. It's amazing. Thank you. Hey, Mom, I'll show you that guy that I've been talking to. Here, look. Okay. Oh, on a second, I need my readers. Here we go with this, but okay. Oh, he's handsome. Does he do the drugs? No, Mom. All right, does he believe in Jesus? I don't- I just started talking to him. Hmm, not talking about anything important, though. Let's see what he's got. Can I zoom? Is that zoom? That's an old picture, can you not? You're gonna like it by accident. I know technology, okay? I didn't like it. Oh, thank god, okay. But I just pressed the little hot thing because I think he's handsome. That's liking it. Hey, you do not need to use that tone with me. I only have the Facebooks, not the Instas. <sighs> okay, can I just have my phone back, please? You can have it back when you apologize for talking to me like that. I'm sorry. Mm, that's what I thought. Does he have a Facebook? I'll follow him on the Facebooks. Nope. No. <laughs> what? Why am I up right now? Is the house on fire? No? The... What's the problem? You... You gotta show me something? Okay. Give me a minute. Alright, I'm up. I'm up. You couldn't at least brought me a coffee or something? Anything? No. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. What time is it right now? It's... It's 4 a.m. What? All right, what did you have to show me? Oh, it's a picture. Okay. Oh, it's nice. It's a, a water buffalo or something. It's me. What did I do to deserve this? Yeah, sometimes me and Sam, we pass notes to each other during therapy, you know? It's just kind of fun and reminds me of high school, you know? I mean, I didn't go to high school, but it reminds me of, like, middle school, you know? I mean, I never went to middle school, but it just reminds me of um, just the like, movies that I watch and stuff. Um, hi. Hey, mommy. ¿Cuál es el problema? I'm sorry? What's the problem? Oh, yeah, so I just have a small scratch on the side of my car door. Okay, mommy, let me take a look. Ooh. I... It's just a small scratch. Is there a problem? I don't know about that. It looks like you got sideswiped by a double-decker bus, man. A kid just scratched it with the side of his bike. No, I think we gotta replace the quarter panel. It's gonna be about five thousand dollars. Yeah. How? Five thousand dollars? Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. The B, Sam to the B, it's M M M M M to the B, Sam to the B, Sam to the B, bang. So why do you think your father suggested you come for counselling? Um, I think because my mother died and he can't talk about it.
And my sister and I didn't speak for a year because she thinks I tried to sleep with her husband and because I spent most of my adult life using sex to deflect from the screaming void inside my empty heart. I'm good at this. Although I don't really do that anymore. You close with your family? <laughs> we get on with it. Do you talk? God, no. Any friends? Sorry? Any friends? No, I don't really have time for... Well, I have a guinea pig, but she blows hot and cold. <laughs> Not a joke. And what have you found in your abstinence? Well, I'm very horny, and your little scarf isn't helping. So the impulse is still there? Oh, yeah, the, the impulse is... The impulse is very much still there. It's just never the right person. Hey! Yeah, no, I can talk. No, <laughs> for sure. No, no. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, she did not. marijuana to my husband okay what's your drink of choice a negroni i was gonna say the same thing yeah. mm. with prosecco in it oh stunning yeah so i'm looking for a yellow bone long hair star star thick and hips come get in my car so you please i'm absolutely fine there is nothing to work hey babe hi <laughs> Bless you. <coughs> oh, I probably shouldn't kiss you. I'll get you sick. Oh yeah, you're right. Hey bitch. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> oh, I probably shouldn't kiss you. I'll get you sick. Oh, I don't care. No, we shouldn't. Put your sick, flenny, disgusting, bacteria-ridden mouth on mine right now. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Stop. I saw somebody use this filter to make up a scary story, so we're gonna try it too. A story begins in a dark and scary barbecue restaurant with the main character, Derek, with his trusty elephant at his side. They had made the barbecue restaurant their homestead, defending from the attacks from the gators. As one of the gators came up to Derek's elephant named Henry, he said, hey, don't you come close to Henry. Otherwise, I'll hit you over the head with a iguana. But the gator snapped and took off Henry's ankle. And Henry the elephant said, Oh, Derek, you gotta go on without me and take care of my zebras. Henry, I can't go without you. You're my, you're my G. I oh, know, Derek, but you gotta get to the penthouse without me. <laughs> Henry, you're the best gosh dang elephant I've ever known. And I'll be sure to take care of your zebras and your raccoons as well. <laughs> I appreciate that, Derek. Now go get to the penthouse and signal the eagles to get out of here. I will. And I'll tell them you sacrificed your life to save those morons back there. And off to the penthouse, Derek went on his trusty Subaru. He could see the penthouse in his sights, but the gators were hot on his tail. But then the Subaru engine gave up because there was a mouse stuck in the engine. Nothing else to do when feeling hopeless. He got out of the car and came face to face with... Larry, his long-lost lover. But there was no time to enjoy the reuniting of lovers because the gators had caught up to Larry and Derek, so they stood back-to-back -back wielding... Donuts. Throwing donuts at the gators left and right. The gators got distracted, so they hopped in Larry's Chrysler and headed to the penthouse. But as they were running to the Chrysler, one of the gators grabbed Larry's... ass. Larry screamed. Shit! Derek turned around, but it was too late. They had already eaten Larry like a biscuit. Derek couldn't stand to lose another loved one, so he just fell to his knees and accepted what was about to come. Death. And more death. So he closed his eyes and prayed to Adele that he would be with his loved one soon. The end. Oh, I can't believe it's almost Halloween and our anniversary. Ugh, I know, and I just love spooky things, so I'd love to go to, like, Salem or something and do something creepy together, you know?
Yeah, yeah. So I got you a beanie and some sunglasses. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I love these. Hey, babe, it's almost Halloween, and you know what that means. You're gonna forget our anniversary again? Nope, we're going to Salem on a Haunted Footsteps ghost tour. I booked it with Get Your Guide. Oh, hell yeah. I can't believe you remembered. Of course. I definitely forgot. Thanks, Get Your Guide. You're two feet away. I can hear you. What? You're lucky I love this shit. And since when do you blink like that? This is grave. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I got you. She secretly buried her children in here, wrapped her kids in newspaper. Oh, oh what the Gather round, children, and welcome back to Tap Tap Weird Story Time with Auntie Chris. Let's get to it. Our story begins at a Walmart in Ohio. It was a rather quiet night at Walmart when Christina was walking down the paper towel aisle. She grabbed the paper towel and saw what was sitting behind it, and it was a feral cat. Threatened by the cat, she dropped the paper towel and yelled, Hey! One of the Walmart employees, Dasha, came running to see what was wrong. Dasha said, My goodness, what's wrong? I just saw a cat. That worked out. A cat? Animals aren't allowed in Walmart. Unless. Unless what? Unless the killer clown is back and he has a cat. That's how I know. The killer clown's cat? Yes. His name is Christopher. So it was the cat's kin, Christopher the killer clown? Yes. And they say if you see his cat, you'll be murdered. But I can't be murdered. I have 11 children at home. Oh, you got 11 kids? That's super. What do I do? I don't know. You could mail some of those kids somewhere else, maybe? Yeah. I meant about the killer clown. Oh, yeah, that. All you got to do is find a weapon. Where can I find a weapon? Well, this is a Walmart in America, so you'll find the gun section right beside the frosted cookies. Okay. Or you could offer Christopher the Killer Clown a Wendy's gift card so I can either fight the Killer Clown or give him a Wendy's gift card and he'll leave me alone. Yeah, that's where the story's going. But do you sell Wendy's gift cards? Yeah, they're just uh, beside the uh, bakery. Okay, well, thank you for all your help. I owe you... A xylophone. Uh, you should probably get back to work, I'm sure. <laughs> oh no, I don't actually work here. I'm a killer clown. <gasps> yeah, so you got that Wendy's gift card or? All right, you guys ready to go to the park? Yeah! Yeah, but I need a coffee in me before we get there. Uh, you can wait until after. If I don't have coffee in my body by 10 a.m., bad things happen. You know that. Okay, okay. Let's go to a and w for an a and w $1 coffee then. a and w for coffee? Yeah, a and w brewed coffee is delicious. And it's organic fair trade coffee, too. Oh, fancy. Yeah, and it's $1. One dollar. One dollar. What about a medium coffee? One dollar. What about a large coffee? One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar? Yes, and that promotion is only on till November 30th, so can we go to AW now? Oh, this is delicious. You happy? I think you need this more than I do. Hey guys, come in. Hey, you could use a rug out here for your guests to wipe their feet, eh? I don't really like the look of that, so... Okay, just a suggestion. I guess you need actual guests to come to your house anyway, though, eh? Dad, what are you doing? You hear that? Need some WD-40. Alright. Okay. So this is the kitchen. Oh, interesting color choice. Yeah, I thought it was a little different. Yeah, no. What is this? Diarrhea green, or...? It's sage. It's a mistake, is what that is. Your knobs are loose. Uh, Dad, don't worry about that, please. All right. Here's the dining area. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nice. Oh, really? Yeah, thanks. And I thought I could spruce it up by maybe bringing that little side table over. What did you do? Oh, come on, it looks better like this. You Dad, what are you doing? Yeah, I tested your water pressure. That is mediocre at best. Uh, it doesn't bug me, so... Well, I disassembled the shower head because I think that's the problem. So you're going to need to buy a new one. Until then, you don't have a shower. Get out. I want us to try this new voice filter, and uh, I'm going to tell a story with the little this thing. So, here we go. 
There once was a man named Daryl, and he had a beautiful wife named Oriel. David and Oriel have been together for nine years and live in a tent together. But one day when they were walking home from the supermarket, they saw that their tent was ravaged by alpacas. And not only that, but the alpacas had taken their precious ethereal stone. The precious stone that had given Oriel the ability to jump really high. And without the stone and the ability to jump really high, Daryl became unattracted to Oriel and left her for Gina, Oriel's sister. Little did Oriel know Gina had been the one to steal the ethereal stone with her army of alpacas with her quest to grind on, on Daryl. Oriel began to plot her revenge and remember that there was a pretty cool other stone that she could get that gave her other powers. A stone with the ability to ignite your hands into fireballs. So Oriel found the ancient map to the stone and the first location was to go to the Yodelin Forest. She arrived and heard something in the distance. Yodeling, 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 hee-hoo. She heard him, the beautiful yodeling man. She approached a large man who looked like Harry Styles. But instead of asking for the stone to get back Daryl, she simply said, Hey, I know. And he spoketh back. For real? Love and much. What about you? Aurea, stunned by his beauty, spoke back to him in a small voice and said, Really good. Do you want to get with me? He paused, examining Aurea and her beauty, and said back, I'd like that very much. The end. <laughs> What's so funny? I could just cut my finger off right now. <laughs> Wild. Ah, gorgeous view from up here, eh? Yeah. Just thinking about the best way to land with breaking the least amount of bones, you know? I feel like feet first. What you looking at? Oh, if that fan fell up there, how many people do you think it would hit? Six? Seven? At least two would die. My money's on seven. Oh, I just love watching little kids play soccer. It's so cute. Yeah. I wish I could just trip them all at the same time, you know? What? What? What's on your mind? Oh, I'm just thinking about what my life would be like if you died in a fiery car crash inferno tomorrow. And vice versa. <laughs> okay. Here's your plate, man, but don't touch it. It's really hot. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna touch it. But I said it's really hot. I'm gonna touch it and see for myself. Okay, jeez. Yeah. What's on the list of things to do today, memory? Yeah, it, uh, it looks like a lot. We have a total of 28 tasks to do today. That's more tasks and holes than a misunderstood emo kid's pants. Well, let's start with the most important first. Uh, yeah, we do have that paper to write, which will take the longest. Perfect, let's do but that. But we do have several calls to make before the end of the day. <laughs> okay, let's do those then first. But we can't do those calls until we shower and get ready because most of them are Zoom meetings and FaceTimes. Okay, well... And we also have family coming over at four and the place is an absolute disaster. Just make her do something! On it! What in Mother Mary Fudge Knuckles is going on, Memory? Uh, I don't know, sir. Everything seems to be shut down. What? And why is it so cold in here now? Yeah, whole thing's frozen. <laughs> we are out of commission. What do you mean? We have a million things to do! <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter. We are overwhelmed and in freeze mode, my guy. Damn it, for how long? A couple minutes, a couple hours, a couple days. I got 20 bucks on a couple days at least. Mm-hmm. We don't have time for this Oh, shit! Okay, okay. Let's go shower. We need to shower. Okay. Oh, oh, we're back online! <laughs> oh, thank the Lord! Nope, but you can thank me. <laughs> we have way too much stuff to do. We can't waste any more time. <laughs> um, thank you? Yeah, it's like a lesser of two evils. <laughs> also, you owe me 20 bucks. <sighs> I quit. You gonna help her out with your new little things together? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna stand in line, cross a barricade. It's like, I don't know.
Look what I got. Oh, nice. We can't let the kids see, though. Kids see what? Da what? Da what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. No matter what, we can't let them know about the C-A-N-D-Y. Yeah, no. Oh, and also we have to take them to go get the S-H-O-T-S's today at the D-O-C-T-O-R-S's today. Oh yeah, if they knew that ahead of time, they would totally F-R-E-A-K-O-U-T. Yeah. Oh, and while we're out, we should grab some more A-L-C-A-H-O-L. -L. Good call. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for a quick car ride? Okay. But only if you give us the C-A-N-D-Y. That's in the C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And you misspelled alcohol. I am hella lost in this combo right now. I thought this would be fun to try. Okay, do I have friends? But what about the ones that I, they don't like me? What about the one I talked to today? She's my best friend. She doesn't like me? Uh, uh, Selena! What did I do? She likes her other friends more? <gasps> Does she have any other friends? <laughs> what I talked to today, she's my best friend. She doesn't like me? Uh, uh, Selena! <gasps> <gasps> All right then, TikTok. I'm going to give you one chance, one opportunity. Step up to the mic. Answer the question correctly. Now, is Chris not only my best mother what, friend, but the best person that I've ever met in my whole life? See? Yes. Redemption. Case closed. You know, there's only one person in this world who can tell you what you are. Me. No, me. Sue Sylvain. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, I just imagined I tripped and fell eyeball first onto this pen. What? Oh, that would suck. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Do you want to try to hold her? Oh, yeah. I kind of want to drop it, though. It, not actually, I just... It, go away. It's fair. She's thinking about, babe? Oh, I'm just thinking about how long I'd last before I pass out if you suffocated me with this pillow. I'm joking! Uh. <laughs> you ever just want to walk out into traffic? What? No! I feel like I'd live if I got hit by a car. No, you wouldn't. Just tuck and roll onto the hood, you know? I wonder if we'd die if this elevator started to freefall. Excuse me? I think if I jumped right before it landed, I'd be Gucci. I don't think that's how gravity works. You want to find out? <laughs> okay, this is my floor. Have a good one. What's <coughs> up, dude? Hey, chat. Oh, Mike. What is up with your hair? Oh, uh, couldn't find my hat this morning, so... That is not okay! It looks like two trash pandas had a fight over a tuna can on your head. Okay. Yeah, here, go use my Miracle Rescue deep conditioning treatment from Pantene. And maybe use my Repair and Protect shampoo and conditioner too. Ah, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, you're not. The Pantene Pro Vitamin Formula penetrates to the core to build bonds and repair hair, as well as the leading $50 treatment, so take it. I mean, really, I'm fine. Wash it now. Fine, I will. Okay, better? I just wanted to stop by and visit. Oh, well, Chad's over. We're just about to have dinner. Hey, how's it hanging? <laughs> My left one's hanging a lot lower than the right. I'm starting to think I should get it checked out. Gross. You want to come in for dinner? What are you having? Uh, just some leftover meatloaf. Nah. Ernie, stop the car! Wait, what? You're leaving? You just got here. If your father and I don't feel like cooking dinner, we just go to people's houses we know around dinner time, and nine times out of ten, they invite us in. And if we don't like what they're cooking, we just move on to the next house. That's diabolical. Yeah, I do it too. So when I invited you over Tuesday morning when I was crying and you pushed it to 6 p.m., it's because you just want a free dinner? Maybe. Unbelievable. Riley gets it. I only agree to go to Costco with you because I know I'll get a hot dog and ice cream out of it. What the... Yeah, anyway, it smells like your neighbor Carol's cooking a roast, so I'll see you later. Oh, but are you guys having dessert at all? Because we'll come... You eat my leftover pizza? No? Oh yeah? What's that on your face? Hey! Where'd you go? 
I am Blue Thunder. Well, come out wherever you are. Gotcha. <gasps> I want to understand why you're feeling this way. Why don't we go get an ice cream and we could talk about it. <laughs> if you don't stop crying in two seconds, you're going to be standing up on the car ride home if you catch my drift. That's what I thought. Mom, can you buy this for me? Oh, well, right now we can't get that, but maybe we can wait for your birthday or for Christmas. How does that sound? Mom, can you buy this for me? No. Your dinner, sweetie. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, but now that I know, I will go do some research and see what other options we have, okay? Here's your dinner. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. The f did you just say? No, you can't go to your friends because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm going to call social services. Okay, let's take a breath. You sound like you're feeling stressed out. Why don't you go get your homework, come here, and I can help you as much as I can. And then maybe when you finish it, you can go to your friend's house. No, you can't go to your friend's because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm going to call social services. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just calling them for you. What? Is that all right? No. I, there you go. It's ringing. No. Uh, I take it. Okay, fine. I'll do my homework. That's what I I am really sick right now and don't have the capacity to move, so I thought I would do a little tap-tap story time. Here we go. Our story begins in... Yemen. Where our main characters, Jessica and Alyssa, those are my sister's names, are... ugly. <laughs> Since they are ugly, they need to find a yellow, crimson, titanium gemstone spelt with a J that'll make them pretty. As they begin their journey on the path, they run into a werewolf. What? The werewolf grabs Alyssa by the cankles and Jessica yells, Jesus, craft with a G. Seeing that Alyssa was probably going to die, she yelled, I'm out this bitch, yo. Alyssa could not believe her sister's betrayal, so she yelled at her, I slept with your husband. Party's great. Yeah. Oh shit. What? The guy who's walking over right now. Do you remember his name? Oh no, and we've met more than once. I know, shit. Hey Chris, Alex. Hey! You? Hey man. What's <laughs> that party, bitches? Who's your friend? You know what would be fun? If we just yelled all our names out at the same time. That right? sounds really yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Awesome. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Alex! <laughs> ah, you know what? I don't think I did it right. I just got really umped up and just yelled the first thing that came to my mind. You didn't yell your name. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought it was one at a time or I don't know. Yeah, the rules are a bit confusing on that one. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, you know what else would be fun? What? What's that? We could compare our driver's licenses. Yes. Yes. That's so oh, fun. I can't play. Mine got taken away. D U I. I don't have one. Passport? No. Oh, I know why I came over here, is to give you a pen to write your names on your cup so you know it's your cup. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, could you write my name down? Because I hurt my hand. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you know, a little fun thing I like to do is rhyme people's names with stuff. What, what rhymes with your name? I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> is it? I just give us an example. Uh, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Harry. Harry. Um. Harry. Uh, Gary. Mm. That rhymes with it, too. Yeah. Uh, Larry? That also rhymes with it, yeah. Dear. Oh, ooh, I know. Jerry. Nice. Are you guys trying to guess my name right now? Do you not know my name? <clears throat> no? What is it then? Barry? 
Now, I'm leaving. Uh, <sighs> oh, what did you do to piss off Sherry? What? Ugh, I'm nervous about dinner tonight. Your mom always asks the most awkward questions. Oh, don't worry, I got it covered. How? The McCain distractor fries, a voice activated device that dispenses fries each time it hears something cringe. <laughs> no way! Yeah, go ahead, try it out. Say something my mother would say. Oh, okay, okay. Why well, did it look so tired and sad? French fries. Oh, no way! This should be good. Right? Well, this is nice, everybody getting together. Yeah! So, when are you two getting married? French fries. Oh. It's good. Okay, so, I have this conspiracy theory, French right? Fries. Oh. <laughs> well, I just got a raise at my job. Remind me, Janet, do you even have a job yet? Looking distracted fries. French fries. Oh! Hmm. So! What do you guys think about this current recession? French fries. <gasps> mm. What were we talking about again? Mm. I don't know. I, don't know. I have no idea. Uh, how delicious these McCain fries are. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you? 36. Yeah? Okay. We'll say plus 8. 64. Huh. Sounds pretty right. Who's Ben Affleck married to? J-Lo. What? No! Really? Yeah. What? I thought he was married to Jennifer Gardner. Not anymore. Oh. Well, now my day is ruined. Shame. Shame. So do you have that Benjamin Button disease or something? Yeah. Oh, cool. Does anybody else know? N no. That's all right. I'm like a bull. I'll take it to the grave. I'm the best at keeping secrets. Okay. For example, a couple of years ago, my best friend tells me that she's pregnant, yeah? Get this. It's not her husband's. It's the local ops driver's. Ops? Yeah, the guy that drives the big van with the door blown out with the boxes in the back. You mean UPS? I don't know what that is. Either way, he put a baby up her box and the poor bastard doesn't even know it. Shame. Shame. But I never told her so. So, where you headed? Then she's gone. I don't talk about feelings, Alfred. I don't have any. I've never seen one. I'm a night-stalking, crime-fighting vigilante in a heavy metal wrapping machine. I don't feel anything emotionally except for rage. 24-7, 365, at a million percent. And if you think that there's something behind that, then you're crazy. Good night, Alfred. Sir? Hey, what's up? Not much. So you having a chill day so far? <laughs> the sweater helps. Okay, so what did you do this morning? Just came from my auntie's funeral. Oh, I thought you said your day was chill. Yeah, it's a bit nippy, so? Well, are you okay? No, I'm Chris. You're unbelievable. Thanks. <sighs> anyway, I was gonna ask you, do you wanna hang later? Who? You. Me? Yeah. No! Maybe if you asked me last week, but no! Why? Cause life's worth living, man! What is up with you? Not much! Oh my god, so you're not down? Where? To hang! No! Oh my gosh, you're killing me. You tried to first. Oh, shit. <laughs> Piano rings like a bell through the night. Would you love to love her? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's expired.
It's nice having everybody together. Yeah. Da. Yeah. Da. Da. Yeah, whatever. What? Yeah. Oh, let me take a photo of everybody. Oh, yeah, good idea. Here's my phone, Mom. Okay. Okay, scooch in, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Smile. Why is it facing me? You just have to turn it around, Ma. Like that? No. Yeah, it's the camera. Like that? It's the little button on the screen with the arrows. Oh, I see it. Oh, look at that. Okay, get together. Smile. <laughs> How do you take the photo? Oh my. <gasps> it's the white one. The war is won? No, Dad, we're taking a photograph. They're infiltrating with rats? No. Take cover! Ma, it's just the button right there. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Here we go. Everybody smile. Oh, it disappeared on me. Where'd it go? <sighs> okay, calm your corned beef curtains. I fixed it, okay? Get together. Smile. Should I put the flash on? Just take the photo! Okay, ready, Colby? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby, and we're here to- Dude, that cat ball went off! What? 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 If there's a spirit here, make a sound. <gasps> Dude, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I farted. We've been told this is like the spookiest, most haunted place in the house. So, I'm gonna check it out. Don't close the door, Colby! I won't! Don't. Dude, 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 door. I'm not going to. <laughs> We're halfway through the video and buy the merch. Buy the merch. Buy the like merch. the video. Buy the merch. Subscribe. 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 Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, pose. That's hot. That's hot. We got Colby here doing the Estes method. Is there any spirits here that want to talk to me? Yes. What do you want to say? You're a little bitch. Hello everybody and welcome back to school. Why don't we reintroduce ourselves and tell a little fun fact about the winter break? Oh, this is like our mother's meetings. Your mom's meetings? I don't- Oh, the ones where she talks about her issues. Oh, um, uh, therapy? Oh, my mom takes me to those. We all sit in a circle like this too. Oh yeah, I think my daddy used to go to those too. Oh, not anymore. Nope. He's in jail now. I feel like those Canadians always run those meetings too because they always call it AA. AA? Oh, no, no, that's not what we're doing. Um, Riley, why don't you just start it off? <laughs> Hi, I'm Riley. Hi, Hi Riley. Riley. And last week I took a sip of my mom's spicy juice and then took $3 out of her purse to buy candy from Tony. H who's Tony? Hi, I'm Buddy. And Hi, Buddy. Buddy. And I put a metaphor in the microwave yesterday to see if it would explode. Did it? Yep. Okay, this isn't what this is supposed to be, so I think we're just gonna stop. What's okay. up? My name's Tony. Hi, Hi Tony. Tony. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. I got gushers going for a dollar a piece. I got a two-for-one deal going for fruit by the foot. And for any of you heavy hitters, I got warheads going for three dollars a piece. And they're hard to come by, so there's no negotiating that. Are you even in this class? Don't get your panties in a twist, toots, okay? I'm in Miss Reznikov's first grade class. I'm just trying to do business. Can I have a pack of gushers and a warhead? You got it. No, no, no. Get on your knees, baby girl. Woo <clears throat> woo! <laughs> Mommy don't know, daddy's getting high. <laughs> doing something on your heart, <laughs> Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. I know I don't usually talk to you guys like this, and most of you probably don't want to see this, but this is for anybody else who needs to hear this. I have been seeing 
so many women on this app with their life together. They get up, they drink water, they have green juice and egg whites and oatmeal and they exercise a lot. Bless them. I'm on my third cup of coffee. It's 10 a.m. I'm wearing half the makeup on my faces from yesterday. And I haven't worked out. We don't need to talk about it, but I just want to say it's okay that you don't have your life together. Because I don't. And I'm not going to change because I don't really care. I'm probably going to have a piece of toast with peanut butter and jam right now. guys I got us a haircut so what do we think I would have personally liked to be consulted first I wasn't mentally prepared to look like an off-brand Justin Bieber just yet okay I approve of the cut. oh good you like it oh, it's very practical for combat situations less to grab onto it's not why I got it but less grabability could be a negative too if you know what I mean and for those reasons I'm out this isn't Shark Tank you can't just no where's the flow bro I'm sorry, I just- I don't even know who I am anymore! Chad! Chad's dead! And you killed him! I think it's kinda hot. Yeah, it's kinda grown on me too. Well, I think we look chic. Oh, we could be in one of those Vogue magazines or something. Oh, yeah, but you still dress like Adam Sandler, so maybe like People magazine or something. How dare you. I just can't believe the betrayal. Like, how dare she cut her own head of hair? Like... <sighs> well, I think it makes us look... Permission to swear? Granted. Badass. Super badass. Awesome! And Riley, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I do. If it's okay with you, it's okay with me. Oh, so, we starting a boy band or what? What are you gonna order? Uh, I don't know. Why do you ask? Oh, because I'm going to base what I order off of what you order, because I don't want to seem like I eat more than you do or eat worse than you do. So. I really want to chop my hair. What do you think? Why are you asking me? Oh, because I won't do it until you confirm with me that you will still find me attractive after I do it. Ugh, I haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> I haven't eaten since yesterday. You guys want a f***ing award? Shut the f*** up. Hey, babe. Yeah. I am testing you right now, and your answer will set the tone in my mood for the rest of this evening, all right? Does this make me look fat? Hey, can I buy you a drink? I'd like that, but I'm not initially attracted to you, so if you did, I'd feel obligated to hang out with you, and I really don't feel like doing that right now. I'd rather dance by myself and be looked at, but not touched. So I'm gonna have to pass. Hello, my little ravioli, my tortellini. Oh, hey, Ma. Hey, oh, Nona. It's almost noon, and you're still in your sweatpants. Riley, can you tell your Nona it's a Sunday and we're having a movie day? Uh, Mom told me to tell you that it's Sunday. Can you tell your mother that I just watched an eight-part series on Netflix about how screens rot your brain? Nona told me to tell you she watched an eight-part series. You want to tell your Nona to repeat the sentence she just said and realize how backwards idiotic that just sounded? Mom told me to tell- Tell your mother we forced her to go outside, rain or shine, until the sun went down, and look how she turned out. Nona said- You wanna tell your Nona I got bullied every day by the neighbor kids cause she stuck me outside, and that's probably why I have trust issues and social anxiety and need to go to therapy on a daily basis? Tell your mother back in my day, we didn't go to therapy, we did the healthy thing with our feelings, the three B's, beat down, bury, and bottle. That- that doesn't seem healthy. Can you ask your Nona why she's even here? Tell her I'm here because I wanted to ask if you guys wanted to go to the movies with me. I, you tell your Nona. I... Well, that was rude.
Hi. Hi. Come to this place often? Sometimes. <laughs> what are you doing there? It's trimming my bush. She's... I like to keep it tidy. <laughs> this is my bathroom. Just in here. It's, uh, it's... What the f What are you doing? Mind your damn business. Why are you business? sitting on it backwards? Mind your damn business. I don't even know. You shouldn't like you leave. Okay, I'm moving out. Hey. Hey. Is your name Jean? Because you're wearing them. I am. Did you use your echolocation to find me? Or the smell of my musk? It was smell. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Don't mind me, I'm just a whisper in the wind. Okay. You want me to push you? I'd love that. Cause your beauty's been pushing me over the edge. I, I, you're strong, damn. Yeah, I like when you slam back. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you come to these places often? Sometimes. These woods? It's the playground. I like how it smells here. <laughs> you should slide down this slide like you slid into my DMs. Watch me. Uh, slower. Uh, like that? Yep. I'd step. We need to lube it up. Come sit with me. Okay. It. Oh, yeah. That fits good. <laughs> no, no, oh, come on. Hey, Chad. What's up? We need to get some stuff to set up for Katrina's new at-home office. Can you come shopping with us? We don't know enough about tech stuff. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. You live in our basement for free. It wasn't a question. Well, that's fair. What do you even do for a job, Katrina? None of your business. Okay. But they're letting us work hybrid now, so I need to make homey office at home. Okay, yeah, um, let's go to Staples Canada then. All right, we'll probably have to go to some other stores too though, right? No, you can get all the things you need to work from Staples Canada. Ergonomic chairs, sit stand desks, all the technology, paper, pens, Staples. Okay, but I don't think you can get chairs from Staples. Like this gray matter ergocentric chair? Staples. But you can't get the computer back. Like the solo hybrid briefcase backpack? Staples. Okay, but not a whiteboard. Gray matter dry erase and bulging board combo? Staples. Fine. Let's go to Staples Canada. Sorry, what's that? I couldn't hear you from my noise canceling buzz headphones from Staples. You're pushing it. All right. This turned out great. Looks great. Thanks for your help, Chad. No problem. I take tips, you know. <laughs> I'll be in my rent-free basement that I'm super thankful for. Thank you. Good night to everybody except girls named Christina. Anyone who drives a Toyota Camry or a Honda Civic Party was lit. Hey, sup? You the car service? Yeah, open. Sick. Great. Oh, thank God. All right, hold on to your fannies. Um, I think you should be paying attention to the road. What? <gasps> this isn't the Walmart. <sighs> we just hit someone. This is just like that new Prime video series. I know what you did last summer. Oh, what happens in that? A group of teens cover up a traumatic event and then a year later a mysterious killer picks them off one by one. <laughs> it's fictional. Let's just go guys. I second. Right, yeah, right. Can you guys still give me a five star rating? <gasps> no, no, please. Um, excuse me, sir, this is private property. Please. No, no. Oh. oh, are you gonna kill me? 
I knew I should have had the burger instead of the salad today. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, just not the face. I've been waiting for you. Watch the new I Know What You Did Last Summer series on Prime Video with a 30 day free trial. But why do I always feel like I'm in the twilight zone? I always feel Hi there, miss. How are you? Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to get a new apartment because my stepdad and mom kicked me out of the house because I was having too many late night band sessions in the garage. Oh, uh, okay. Like who's Tom to tell me I can't test out my pyrotechnics in the house, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But you have a band. Uh, what's, what's the name? You're not my dad. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, it's a band name. Right, right. Why are you here again? I need a new apartment and they told me I need good credit score, so I need one of those. Right. Well, the only way to get one of those is with a credit card. Well, I don't use credit cards. I use a debit card. Ah, well then you're out of luck. Fine, then give me a credit card. Oh, I can't do that. Why? Right, well you need a credit score to get a credit card and you don't have any credit history. You just said the only way to get a credit card was to have good credit score. Exactly. So give me a credit card. Not without a credit score. And stop the madness. Don't even bother listening to this uneducated human being. Credit AI works like a debit card with superpowers. It's got tech nobody else has. You get your paycheck early and it automatically hacks your credit score super, super high. Sick. Is this metal? Yeah, and you never pay anything for it. Nada, nothing. That is all. I go. Great. Can't wait to use this for my new apartment and for more pyrotechnics. I don't think that's the best idea. You're not my dad. Okay. But why do I always feel like I'm in the Janet, do you think this apple looks like a butt? I don't know why I took you grocery shopping and you need a girlfriend. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm trying. No girl likes to flirt with me. Oh, jeez. Hi, sorry. You dropped these back there. Oh, my keys. Thanks. No problem, handsome. Do you live around here? Oh, yeah, just down the road. That's super neat. Yep. So what do you like to do for fun? Oh, uh, I don't know, play video games. I like games. Oh my god. Also really into stocks and like public.com and stuff. That sounds so interesting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's an investing social network where you could talk to and see what other people are investing in. That's super cool. Super cool. Oh, wow, he's really not getting it. Yeah, and they have Shiba Coin on the app now, too, which is dope. Wow. Yeah, Public offers 11 crypto assets alongside thousands of other stocks and EFTs. Their cryptos include, like, Bitcoin, Ether, Doge, and Shiba now. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, you can download the app and use public.com slash KMK for up to $70 in free stock. I'm totally going to. Cool beans. Later. What? She was flirting with- you are the stupidest human being I know. Who's that? Oh, your playdate's here, Hunter. Yay! Hey, Hunter, come on in. Uh, come on, Hunter, let's go! Karen? Janet? I hate that woman with every goddamn fiber in my body. But my therapist told me I need to start working on being nice to people that I don't like. So I'm working on it. Honestly, I'm surprised you're up before noon and not hungover. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm actually up pretty early most days and, and it's a Tuesday, so. I think she bought it. Also, why are the lights so goddamn bright? Can I get some sunglasses and an Advil in here? Wow, look at you turning a new leaf. <laughs> well, I'll be back at five to pick up Hunter because I'm sure you have a happy hour to go to or something. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. But I do have a charity event to go to later, actually. Really? Yeah. Hey, Mom, are we still going to Applebee's for happy hour at five? Can Hunter come? Nah, it's, it's actually a new charity, Saving the Bees charity, where you, where you dunk for apples and in, and you get money by dunking for the ap ap apples and you give them to the bees to save them. Uh-huh. You know what, you f***ing passive-aggressive You come here to my house, you talk to me like I'm a piece of okay? You're the piece of I think I possibly might need a couple more therapy sessions.
Are chicken fingers really better than middle fingers? Let's talk ah! about that. Ah! What are you doing under there? Just playing. Well, we're trying to do a show, so you got to get out. Don't, Don't touch, touch that. that. What's this? It was a Rubik's Cube. What about this? Stop. 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 What's this? Where's your mom? She's at the bar across the street. Just get back under the desk. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, you might break it. We'll get bloopers. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Guys! Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just looking at pictures. Tanya had her baby. Yeah, I went through 24 hours of labor, but she is beautiful. Come look at pictures. Mm, pass. What? Oh, no, I'm happy for you. I just don't give a shit about seeing pictures of your baby. Uh, plus, no fresh out the vagine baby is beautiful. Okay, they all look like Yoda and Betty White had a weird love child. Hey, anybody want to see new pictures of my puppy? Oh my god, yes! Woo, yeah, part it! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I don't know anybody here. You said I'd know people. I know, but I can introduce you around. Nope. Perfect, and for an extra five dollars, would you like to donate to the Homeless Orphans with No Limbs or Hope Foundation? No. Hmm. Oh, you have two for one chocolate bars for five bucks. Throw those in too. For the children. Are you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Uber. Hop in. <laughs> I'm Amanda. I'm Janet. Janet! Yeah. I knew a Janet. Nice. Oh, where did I know a Janet from? It's all good. Oh, I know it. It's fine. No, it's right on the tip of me tongue. I don't. Oh, I could see it. Oh, yes. It's gone. Shame. Shame. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. It was a Mr. Janet, in not it? Yeah. My school teacher. Great. Yeah, it turns out to be one of them Peter fools. Oh. Yeah, shame. I... Shame. You aren't a Peter fool, are you? What? No, just because I have the same name, you associated me Sorry, with Sorry, I just thought I'd ask. Jeez. Guess you wouldn't tell me either way. What? It's all right, I'm not your type anyway. I'm over 18, believe it or not. No. No, yeah, got a good skincare routine. Okay. You know what? I've been going to a lot of therapy lately, and my therapist told me that I am what they call socially adept. It's inept. And no way! Why? Anyway, she told me that doing icebreakers with strangers is a good idea. Can I do that with you? If it'll get this car to start moving, then yeah. Cool, cool. I'll just ask you, like, super, like, non-personal questions. Sure. Okay. How many intimate sexual partners have you had? What kind of question is that? It's okay. I'll go first. Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. Short story long. Went out with a fit man, right? He took me to Taco Bell. And not the nice one on second. The dingy one on Robson. First mistake. Mm -hmm. So we get it. Eat it. Go back to his place. Okay? Netflix and chill. Obviously, put on Harry Potter, classic. And then one thing led to another, and he was entering my chamber of secrets, okay? And then that was when Taco Bell decided to make a second appearance, front and back. Yeah, shame. Let's just say my taco was not having it. And by taco, I mean my hoo-ha. I get it! And by hoo-ha, yeah, I got I'm it. talking about my vagina. Okay, I'm out of here, oh, all right? No, I'm out. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you for she forgot her purse. You forgot your purse. Oh, it's too bad. Thanks for watching the kids for us, Ma. Bah. Oh, no problem. Honestly, it's nice to get out of the house. Ernie's hearing's getting so bad when he listens to his music, it makes my living room sound like a goddamn mosh pit. <laughs>
Why are you winking? Nothing. I just said have fun on your date. Now you're using air quotes. What are you doing? I know what it's like to have little raviolis running around all the time, okay? Me and your father used to sneak out and date all the time. Oh my god. No, Ma, we are just going oh, on a date. Ernie and I went on dates in the craziest places, I tell you. I don't. The car, elevator, restaurant, restaurant, bathrooms. Chili's got a good one with a lot of counter space. Oh my god. Even a tree. Which is very hard, but very rewarding because there's a lot of limbs to work with, even though what Ma, I mean. Ma, stop. When I say date, I'm talking about Ma, sex. Ma, I got it. And we're leaving. Yeah. Hello, my little ravioli. Ma, I want to go on a date. I'm going to leave that one for you, Ma. I know what it's like to have little... I know what it's like to have little raviolis running around, okay? You and your father and I- what the f*** was that? <laughs> oh, Ernie and I went on the <laughs> restaurant, restaurant bathrooms. Chili's got one with a lot of space. <laughs> Do you hear that? Hear what? Oh, uh, I don't know. Never mind. Where are they? No, oh, there it is again. There, did you hear that? I don't hear anything. Oh man, I must be going crazy. Never mind, never mind. Sorry. It's a day. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas with the return of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. And what's snickerdoodly fantastic is that they have all new premiere movies and new movies every night from November 26th all through to Christmas. That's cool. Great. Good to know. Now get out of our house. Okay. <gasps> but I wanted to watch It's a Wonderful Lifetime holiday movies with her. I brought snacks. <gasps> I don't know. And beverages. Fine. Yay! Yay! Are you my Uber? Yeah, I'll be in. Great. I'm Amanda. <sighs> Katrina. No, Amanda. My name is Katrina. Oh, yeah, right, right. My nan's name's Katrina. Great. Yeah, she's dead. Sorry to hear that. She got hit that. by a bus. Oh. And then a car. But, but it's funny, because what took her out was a kid on a bicycle behind the bus in the car. Like a speed bump. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, she was chasing down one of the chickens that escaped from the pen. Yeah, so we tend to stay away from chicken crossing the road jokes at family reunions. Right. You got a funny accent. Where are you from? I am from Russia. Oh, you guys got that leader. Poutine, isn't it? No, that is not how you say Oh, I love poutine. Not your poutine, but poutine. Now I'm hungry. Little cheese, gravy and chips. You would not make it in Russia. What would I make in Russia? Can we go? I am late to see my girlfriend. Oh, you got a girlfriend. I had a boyfriend. He died. Yeah, he's burning up in hell with me, nan. Because get this. I'm shaking my nan day before she died you know what i don't want to yeah, know yeah shame shame ironically he died by getting run over too it was my fault i let the chicken out wow i knew there was cars on the road and i knew she'd chase that chicken because she loved that chicken more than me then i told my boyfriend to go check if she was alive and i did that knowing there was a truck barreling down the road road pizza oh my god you know it feels good to get it off my chest we should go get Chick-fil-A. You know, for some reason I've lost my appetite, so I'm gonna go. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. Good, I did not want to drive anyway. You guys know Call Me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now I've drawn all of her characters. But nay, I cannot rest. What are you telling me? For she has made more. So, without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites. <laughs> you best move out of the way when Chriselle comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle, no TV show, keeping up with Chris. <laughs> Got me like Kim Kardashian, huh? <laughs> this next character may even be less grounded in reality. I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. <laughs> you know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue. But I know people like this. <laughs> you know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Hi. 
Hey, Chris Shell. And why do you want it? I'm really sorry to do this, but would you be able to watch the kids for like an hour? Me and Katrina had this thing and Chad had to back out for some stupid reason. Yeah, Jonah, I'm sorry. I can't watch the kids, okay? No, it's important. Where are my glasses? Okay. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Have you watched kids before? Yeah, totally. This one time at Paris Hilton's pool party at Beverly Hills, I was wasted on vodka crayons and this creepy little hairy kid came up to me and said he didn't know where the snacks were. So I was nice enough to show him where the charcuterie boards and the jello shots were. Later that night, I found out it was just Danny DeVito, but still. Great, see you kids. Bye. Ew, come in. So like, what do you guys do? Play games. Duh. Oh, okay. What about truth or dare? Sure, you go first. Truth. Have you ever had work done? I was genuinely not expecting to be accused and attacked like that in my own home. Like, where does this little Italian child get off? You know? So? That's rude to assume, and that information is between me and Dr. Goldstein. No. Truth or dare? Doof! What's like the craziest thing you've done? I drank some of my mom's spicy juice one time by accident. By accident? I wanted to see what it tasted like! Yeah, that's what I thought. You wouldn't believe the information I can get out of some people. It's like it's a seventh sense or something, you know? What? I am smiling. Yeah. I wanted to see- <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> well. <laughs> sure! Jerry! <laughs> Hello. Did you touch my sweatshirt? No. Oh, it's just weird because it seems like someone definitely touched my sweatshirt. Yeah, it is weird because I didn't touch it. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey! Did you touch my sweatshirt? Hey! Knock it off! I know you touched my sweatshirt because the left shoulder has a hole in it. Crazy man, you sound insane. Do you realize that you should be medicated? Fuck you, Chad. I know you touched my sweatshirt, and I want to hear that dirty little mouth admit it. You better get it on my face, or I'm gonna roundhouse your ass. Maybe you swear on Riley's life, you didn't touch my sweatshirt. Then I don't have to swear to shit. That's because you fucking touched my sweatshirt. Because I know keeping up with the Kardashians doesn't start at four. Where are you going? Going upstairs, because I'm going to put my nut sack on all your other clothes. Don't do that. I am warning you right now. If you touch my clothes, I will stab you in the neck with a knife. Oh! Tony, God. Tony, Tony. Where's our money? Yeah, where's our money? Listen, guys. The boss's patience are wearing thin. Like ice. Or like really thinly blown glass. Would you shut up? Sorry. But have you seen that new show where they do the glass blowing? It's incredible. Stop talking. That's a great show. You listen to me. I'm gonna take this mallet and I'm gonna rearrange it from top to bottom until you tell me where the money is. And you're gonna make sure any fluids that come out of you don't get on my shoes because I've gone through four pairs this month. It's true. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What? What if I told you I could fix a little shoe problem? I'm listening. What are you guys? Size 10? Yeah. Listen, you can take my vesties and I can hook you up with someone. We could just act like you never saw me, okay? Why would we want to pull that water on my vesties? Hmm. See that? They're 100% waterproof, so you don't got to worry about no mess or any foreign liquids. And they're made out of breathable, lightweight material. Great for chasing people down. They're also vegan and cruelty-free. That is very important. That's huge. Deal. Hey, Mom. Yeah, what's up? Someone's here to see you. Who just shows up unannounced? Tell them we're busy. Yeah, tell them to get lost. She's already inside. What? What? Hi. 
You just let random strangers into the house? She seemed non-threatening. Yeah, and we didn't hire an Elton John impersonator, but there's a lovely couple across the street, Rick and John. They probably did, so you're at the wrong house. No, I'm your new neighbor. My name's Chriselle. Not Christine, not Michelle, Chriselle. Huh, it's an interesting name. I know, it's my new name. My maid from a couple years ago's name was Chriselle and I just thought it was so unique and different so I made her legally change her name and I took her name and legally changed it to Chriselle. And then I put in a request to the president of the Americas to make every other Chriselle change their name because I wanted to be the only one but apparently you can't do that. So instead I put the sparkle emojis on both sides of my name legally so instead of Chriselle it's Chriselle. Well, it's lovely to have you in the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, would you like a beverage or something? Water. Sparkling. We have tap. The last time I had tap water was when I was physically dying of dehydration at Ibiza and they were all out of Boston Fiji water bottles. So this sweaty guy cracked out on Molly, put a beer bong of tap water into my throat. I would have rather died. Pass. We're gonna go to the park if you wanna join. Is there an after party at least? N no. Ew. Not to be rude, but these people are more lame than my prize pony I had to put down last week. We're gonna go to the- <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Not to be rude, but these people are more lame than the prize pony I had to put down. Oh, <laughs> I was physically dying of dehydration at a rave in Ibiza. And they were all of... <laughs> Sop, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Uber. I've been... Sick. Amanda. No, Chad. Not Amanda. You're cute. You can call me whatever you want. Okay. You want a candy? I have them for the passengers. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, sure, I'd take some. Oh, uh, I don't actually have them. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I ate them all. Uh, to be honest, no one ever says yes. Probably shouldn't be taking candy from strangers anyway. True. Way added. Oh, I'm going to that concert downtown. Oh, fun. I wish I could go, but I can't afford it. Don't have any money. Bummer. Yeah, I wanted to be a singer too. Cool. Even tried out for the American Idols once. Wow, it's sick. Yeah. You want to hear my audition? Oh, no. I kind of just want to go just to the Just got to do a couple vocal warm-ups. Okay. Ow. Kermit the Frog. Kermit. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> If you stop doing that, you can go to the concert with me. <gasps> what? No! Yeah, what? whatever. Oh, thank you. Would you want us to put Chick fil A before? Yeah. Cool. Oh, shoot, I forgot. What? Don't have any money. It's on me. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. Yay, such a gentleman. It's times like these, I wish I had a Johnson. I'm stuck in traffic and I just had a liter of water. I just want to pee in a bottle and continue on my way. But now I have to squat on the side of the road and piss my time away. <laughs> hey, Doc. Come in. Great. Okay. So, where were we? Um, yeah, last time I was here, we were just talking about how I feel depressed and inadequate constantly and how I just don't want to be here anymore. Yes, right. Well, I agree. Yes. What? Yeah, well, personally, I think that is a fantastic idea. You think that you think I shouldn't be here either? <laughs> well, if I disagreed now, wouldn't I say it? Are you are you saying that I should that I should pull the trigger? 
How could you even say that? I'm trying here! I'm trying! Listen, if we don't do it now, I don't think we ever will. Okay. This fucked up. Well, you deserve it. You deserve it! I am gonna live my life. <laughs> you always say you're gonna do things and then don't. Fuck you! I'm gonna drive to Alaska and climb to the top of a snowy mountain and build a cabin or get a sexy lumberjack to build me a cabin who looks like Henry Cavill and Gerard Butler fused together. And then we're gonna make homemade pizza, a concerning amount, and eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And then we're gonna go to the peak of that mountain and yell, I choose life at the top of it while naked so I feel even more alive. Because I do. I choose life, despite you. Just despite. What do you think about that? Hmm. Fantastic. Look who is finally taking initiative. You're right. I look at me. I don't know how to thank you, Doc. Call the real estate agent and put an offer in. I will. Wait, what? Okay. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Sorry, my husband. We're trying to buy a house. <laughs> okay. Do you want to lie down? I'm going to Alaska to eat pizza with a sexy lumberjack. What? Uh that is the third time that has worked. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Super Best Spy Tech Helpline. I'm Amanda. How may I help you? Oh, finally. I've been on hold for three hours. Oh, uh, yeah. Apologies, ma'am. We've been very busy at the moment. Oh, busy. Busy wasting my entire day. Ma'am, I would like to warn you, we have a very strict three-strike customer attitude policy here at Super Best Buy Tech Helpline. And that's strike one. Strike three, I hang up. Okay, okay. I'm chill. I'm chill. Okay, please don't hang up. Okay. What can I help you with today, ma'am? I just bought a new TV from Super Best Buy and I cannot change the channel. It's been stuck on a Harry Potter marathon all day. Itty, bitty, baby, butter. What do I do to fix it? Yeah, right, okay, yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, I tried that. Huh, that one usually works. Well, it didn't, so... And let me put you back on hold while I look into the issue. No! <sighs> Hello. Hi, did you figure it out? Yeah, so you sure you tried turning it off and on again? Yes. Can I please speak to a competent human being? Ooh, strike two. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, can you just please help me? I cannot take this anymore. The boy who lived, come to die. Please. Okay, I think I know what the issue is. Okay, you do. Okay, what is it? Have you tried changing the channel? You are a useless, incompetent imbecile. Oh, strike free. No, you're out. Hello? I think I'm gonna watch Harry Potter. Yeah. So you lost the keys again. Uh, no, I didn't touch him. Oh, well, neither did I. All right, looks like we got ourselves an old-fashioned domestic debacle. You ready to win this fight, Memory? Oh, yeah. You got the receipts? Locked and loaded. All right, let's start with the facts. Okay. Who was the last one to drive the car? Oh, yeah, that was you last night. Yes, I know. Nice. But... After I got home, you were going through one of your manic cleaning and rearranging episodes and probably moved the keys. Damn. Can you confirm? Um, oh, it, it does look like we rewatched Marie Kondo's Sparking Joy decluttering show on Netflix last night. Oh, sweet Mother Mary. Yeah, and preceding the show, we drank an entire bottle of wine, cleaned 40% of every room in the house, and cleaned out half our closet. Oh, God, do we have anything on the keys? Uh, it looks like the system went blurry after the fourth glass of wine. Okay, uh... Our only choice is to deny. Deny. Got it. 
<laughs> yeah, well, regardless, I know I didn't touch him. Well, obviously you did. <sighs> deny, deny, deny. Yeah. I swear on my grandma's life that I didn't touch those keys. Are we authorized to say that? She's already dead. It's a loophole. <sighs> this is ridiculous. You know what? And another thing. What just happened? Oh, we just felt the keys in our purse. <sighs> oh, dear God. What was that? Uh... We're fucked. Oh no. We lost the fight and we metaphorically killed our already deceased grandmother. Is there any way to get out of this? I don't- Oh, I didn't think it had to come to this. Please send up waterworks. Good call. You page for waterworks? Yeah. What do you need? Glassy eyes? One tear? Ugly cry? Everything you've got. Oh, you need the Kim K ugly cry. On it. I'm just really stressed right now and I forget oh, babe, babe, things don't cry, don't cry. I want my period and I I'm sorry if I've been stressing you out, That it's my fault. It's okay. I forgive you. It's okay. Ha! Mission accomplished. Round one, fight. Um, excuse me, is this seat taken? Uh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sitting. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, no. No, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, you said it wasn't taken. <laughs> yeah, I did, and uh, we're just gonna keep it that way, okay? <laughs> uh, I don't understand. I am not willing to run the risk of you wanting to engage in small talk or the accidental occasional awkward eye contact. I physically cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what if I just, uh, no. Well, can I just... No. Bye. Who's that? Oh, it's uh, Casey and Sam. I invited them over. When did you do that? I don't know. I texted with them like 10 minutes ago. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, uh, I only agreed upon interacting with one person a day, and that is you, so... I'm gonna head out. <laughs> oh, come on, they're chill. My social battery has already completely depleted just at the thought of two extra human beings being in this room, okay? Oh, please. And honestly, the thought of going home early has been the most exciting part of this evening, so can't let myself down. See you later. Okay, well, why are you going out the back door? Yeah, I'm not risking running into them. Don't tell them I said hi. Uh, first soul of the day, Chad. Welcome to hell. Oh, what? Must have not landed that rooftop wheelbarrow jump. I'm the assistant to the regional demon, so rules are if you make me laugh, you can go back up to heaven. Oh, uh, okay, cool. And if you don't, you get to stay here in hell, all right? Okay. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, so, uh, two bodybuilders meet in hell, right? And one says to the other, hey, dude, can we get a protein shake around here? And the other one says, dude, no way in hell. <laughs> you know, like, like whey and protein, like, like... <laughs> Sign-in sheets over there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next! I'm a man's, uh... I know. Ten car pile up from applying lipstick while driving. Go ahead. Okay, here's a joke. Uh, what does my head and hell have in common? They both have demons in them. <laughs> Do you provide any therapy here? Uh, we have a designated pillow punching room and you can scream and pretty much light anything on fire. So. Right, yeah, right, so, so, yeah, okay. Next! Oh god, if I knew this day was gonna be my last, I would've ordered the rigatoni and the tiramisu over the salad last night. That's what they all say. Alright, go ahead. So we're gonna make you laugh or else I go to hell? I don't have time for this. I was a 65-year-old woman who had two very mediocre children I could not live vicariously through. I had a husband who hasn't looked at my general direction in over 15 years. And the most action I see is by going to my bi-weekly doctor's appointment to get a colonoscopy and a pap smear. My life was already hell. <laughs> you can go up. You can, you can go. I was already up there. They kicked me out and sent me back down here. Plus, I don't want to see my mother. That's fair. Hey, do you think this outfit's okay? Oh, it's very cute, sweetie. Okay. Okay. What? Where are you going? Throwing these clothes away. Why, honey? I think you look adorable. Exactly. Okay, let's write this.
All right, folks, we got our task at hand. Let's get it done. Memory, what are we writing about? Yeah, sir, it looks like we have to get an essay done in 45 minutes. Okay, and when were we assigned this project? Uh, two weeks ago. Uh-huh, and how much have we gotten done already? Um... Why are we like this? Okay, well, let's buckle down. What is the essay about? Uh, the negative effects of internet accessibility and plagiarism. Okay, simple. Let's Google it and copy-paste some shit. Let's go. On it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Good, good. Oh, sick. There's a pop-up ad for BuzzFeed quiz of what Johnny Depp character are you? Take it, take it. Ooh. No, ADHD, how did you get in here? Who's on brain security detail today? Oh, uh... It That explains it. Okay, I think we can still get this done if we get away from this quiz. Yes, right, let's do that. Plus, we're obviously Captain Jack Sparrow. The Mad Hatter? What? This quiz is horseshit! Yeah, take it again. Yes. Sir, the essay? Damn it! Right, right, let's focus on the essay. skip the essay and grab some rum just saying we got less than 10 minutes to get this finished so fuck it yeah do, do, do. oh i'm empty of course we're out of rum why is the rum always gone i think it's best we lay off the rum oh we could take the buzzfeed quiz for what amber heard character are you wasn't she only in like one movie aquaman yes i didn't even see it are you a ride service? Yeah, I'm a manza. Hop in. Great. Oh, very nice. Thanks, it's not mine. Why did we even need to go to the museum at 5 a.m.? It's not even open yet. Exactly, we gotta get there before the crowds. Yeah, I highly doubt people are gonna be breaking down the doors to the North American Historical Famous Recipes Museum. Who wouldn't want to know about Marilyn Monroe's famous strudel recipe? Marilyn's got a famous strudel recipe. I don't know. That's why we're going to find out. What are you doing on your telephone? I'm just checking how much money I have in my BMO bank account right now. How are you doing that? The banks aren't open this early. I can bank with BMO online any time of the day. Really? Yeah, while you two were talking, I pulled over and sent an e-transfer to me dad's for rent money. Oh, seriously? Yeah, just auto-deposit into his account for him. And it's great because it limits our face-to-face -face interaction. Because he can be insufferably annoying, believe it or not. <laughs> I know that feeling. What else can this BMO online bacon do? Uh, I'm also checking my credit as we speak. Yeah, and say if I was to metaphorically steal her person credit card instead of dropping you off, she could lock her credit card immediately and report it stolen. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it's not worth my time. BMO's credit card protection is too good. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that jacket, though. Okay, just pull over here. Thanks. No, but what about the strudel? Forget the strudel. Now we'll never know. Now I want a strudel. Hello? No, Ma, it's a FaceTime. I don't understand. Hello? No, it's a video call. Look at your screen. What? Oh, look at that. There you go. I can see your face in real time. Yeah, FaceTime. FaceTime, what's that? This, what we're doing right now. 
Oh, back in my day, FaceTime meant something very different, if you know what I mean. I don't, and I don't want to. Okay, I called because we're planning Chad's surprise party. Okay, Marie's just joining the call now, too. What? How can she be on the call, too? It's a three-way call. Yeah, hi, Ma. Janet. Oh, my favorite daughter, Marie. Hi, how you doing? Look at us. We're doing a three-way. Don't say that. One second, I'll get your father. Ernie, come and join the three-way with our daughters. Definitely seen a video with that same title. It, why is Chad on the call? I invited him. He's family, too. No, Marie, she can't be on the call. I'm never invited to anything. Oh, how fun. It's Chad. Look at us. We're doing a four-way now. Oh, my God. Is the four-way even a thing? Uh, from my extensive research, I can confirm it is a thing. Chad, we're planning your surprise parties on the FaceTimes. No! What? Did you... Hello? Oh, is it a three-way theme party? <sighs> Hello there, I'm Ollie, and I'm your bartender. What can I get you? Oh, uh, Chris, I'll just have a water. Coming right up. Nickel for your thoughts. Oh, I think it, I think it's Penny. I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you, Penny. No, no, my name is Chris. The, the saying is Penny for your thoughts. <laughs> What's anybody supposed to do with a penny? At least with a nickel, I could get a piece of candy. No, I don't think I don't think you understand the saying. It's it, it's. I don't really care. I just see people say it on the telly. Anyway, what's on your mind, love? Uh, it's my birthday. <laughs> oh, what? Cool. Yeah. It's your birthday, and you're at the bar alone. Uh, I guess. Well, if you say it like that, Janet, that just sounds sad. Yeah, like if you say it like it's my birthday, and I'm at the bar alone. No, it still sounds pretty sad. Hey, it's cool. My last 26 birthdays, everyone accidentally forgot. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That That's awful. Oh, it's no big deal. The way I see it, if no one celebrates my birthday, then I never age. I'm like a vampire. You're not a vampire. You're just a sad 26-year-old who still lives with his mom. I will drink to that. You drink to anything. Because there is a lot to celebrate. It's Chris's birthday. Oh, it's, it, it's fine. <laughs> this one time for my birthday, Kim K, Paris Hilton, and the entire cast from Selling Sunset went to New York. And we got our elbows done. Oh, I did, I did not know that was a thing. Mm, clearly. Oh, I've always wanted to get my elbows done. Mine look like a couple of Christmas hams. Ma, why are you here? You're supposed to be watching the kids. What are you talking about? I brought them. I am. Hey-o. Hello. Hello. They like kids in here? Well, it's a birthday party, so I think it's fine. Oh, let's all sing happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. That is the last one. Oh, I saw it first. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Amanda. Hello. Right, that'll be $22. And would you like to donate to the charity for the needy people? What charity? For the needy people. What people? The needy. Where? Where what? Where are these needy people? All around the towns and everything. Oh, this town. Good chance, yeah. Fine. Okay, that'll be an extra ten dollars. Ten dollars? And if you can make the ten separate and in cash and bill form, that would be ideal. The charity for the needy isn't real, is it? You're pocketing this. What? No! What? <laughs> okay, technically speaking, I am a needy person in need of charity, so... That I'm not going to give you money, but I'm also not going to rat you out because Karen is behind me in the line. When she comes to pay, your charity is now going to be for sick puppies. Everybody loves puppies. Yeah, okay. Zhuzh it up any way you want to to make it sound good, but the key is to make everybody around you hear it as well. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. You're up. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah. And along with your purchases today, would you like to donate to the sick, dying, parentless, limbless, clinically depressed puppies charity today? Um, oh, those poor puppies. The puppies. <sighs> Fine. Great, that'll be an extra $50. 50? <laughs> Fine. Preferably in 10s and 20s if you got them. Babe, do you have another piece of gum? 
Oh, sorry, that was my last one. It's okay. Baby, got another piece of gum? Oh, no, here. Thanks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did. It's fine. <laughs> That was like a three out of 10. It's weak. I know. <laughs> like a five out of 10. Damn it. Get the soda. Yes. Oh, can you, um. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what the? Babe, what's up? Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, it's. Oh, wow. Jesus. Yeah. Is that normal? Should I get that checked out? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even fully see it. Can you get on your back on the ground car mechanic style and check this shit out? Yeah, yeah. All right, movie time. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? I think so. <gasps> oh. All right, movie time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm thinking? I think so. You forgot to order the food. Well, you still haven't even picked the movie. I don't know what I want to watch. You pick it then. Fine. You order then. Fine. I don't know what I want to eat. Hey, babe, I'm ready. How does this look? Hmm? Uh, amazing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, babe, I'm ready. How does this look? Hmm? No. But what if I just... No. Okay, but maybe I could just... Blue-colored like... shirt and khakis, okay? Go. The khakis make my thighs look white. Go. Fine. You're so handsome. I love you. Child. Oh, good morning, beautiful. Oh, me? <laughs> good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, stop. Hey, I'm here to sign up to uh, be a volunteer. Yeah, great, just need your name. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, but seriously, I need your name. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. No, I don't know. You don't know your own name. Yes, I do. Okay, what is it? I don't know. You just said you do. Yeah, I don't know. How do you not know your own name? I do. What is it? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, forget this. What is your last name? Okay, beats me. You're telling me you don't know your last name either? Beats me. Beats you? Beats me. How? How what? How do you not know your name? I do. What is it? I don't know, beats me. What the hey man, I haven't seen you since high school. How are you? Great. Oh, thank God, you know her. Okay, what's her name? Yeah, I don't know, beats me. So you're old friends, but you don't know her name? Yeah, I do, I don't know. So you do or you don't? I do, I don't know, beats me. What is happening? Oh, that's my mom's name. What is? What is happening? I don't know. Yeah, what's up? What? You said my name. What did I say? I don't know. <clears throat> well, I think you need to calm down and be a little bit more like, I don't know. More chill like who? Like, I don't know. Like you don't remember who or? No, like, I don't know. Me. You? Yeah, I don't know. I get it from my mom. <gasps> what is happening? I don't know. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I quit. Wonder what made him crack. I don't know. Yeah, what's up? I don't know. Yeah, what? I don't know. Well, you don't need to raise your voice at me, okay? I'm just answering you. <laughs> what is happening? Whoa, why you gotta bring my mom into this? The All right, pull your hat chits out. Uh oh, here come the popo. -po. Too much murder. Alright, Riley, what do you want to be for Halloween this year? A unicorn? No. Okay, uh, do you want to be Elsa again? Nope. Okay, well, I'm not a mind reader, so what do you want to be? This. No. Are you serious? Yep. No, this costume's like $100. There's no way. Please. Okay, well, I can't buy it, so we can improvise. Are they? Trick or treat! Oh, well, don't you all just look precious. And you are a... A cowboy, here you go, and you are. Oh, a little astronaut, here you go, honey, and you are. 
Oh, what are you exactly, Riley? My Batman. Oh, yeah, right. Is that a garbage bag on her head? Yeah. Okay, well, what would you like, Riley? My Batman. I mean, Batman, what kind of candy would you like? Justice. Just give her a Snickers or something. Okay. And did you use used hard seltzer cans for ears? Oh, we're gonna head out. Okay, come on, Riley. Where is she? Did you really have to go full method with this? Yeah. Oh my god. Justy. <laughs> Just <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Dude, I just don't know how to get her attention, you know? <sighs> okay, uh, what are girls like? I don't know, iced coffee and baggy sweaters? Okay, well you're really funneling women into a generalized category by saying that, so. So you don't like those things? It's besides the point. What else? <sighs> TikTok dances. No. Like this one? Yeah? Or this? Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. Thirst traps. Keep your shirt on. No. No. Fine. I don't know. Girls like intelligence? Y yes, yes. Stocks. I mean, because I can go on and on about those. Okay. Like public.com is an investing social network where you can talk to your friends and other notable investors. Uh, uh, all right. And the app is free and there's zero dollar commission fees on standard trades. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Not to mention you can see what celebs are investing in. And you can use my link, public.com slash KMK for up to $70 off in free stock. Who are, you, who are you looking at right now? What? Okay, whatever. You know what? It makes you sound smart, so start with that. It's great. Sick. And this? No. Miss, are you my Uber? Oh, yes, me. I'm the Uber. Hopping. Great. Amanda. Oh, uh, I'm a... Like, a man. Duh. <laughs> okay. But I'm not a man. Got it. I'm actually from across the pond, but I ran out of money, so Uber. Good for you. So where are you going? Uh, yeah, 2235 Acorn Street. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, I don't know what that is. You don't have a GPS or anything? Oh, yeah, see, I would, but I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Right, right. But if you could give me, like, a point of interest, like a building or, or a restaurant, I could pinpoint it in my head. Yeah, sure, it's uh... Like, is it by a Chick-fil-A? Because that's where I go for lunch every day. It's not even close. It's by the museum, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it then? No, I don't know where that is. Oh my god. Do you know where it is? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Maybe you could drive then. Is, is that... Am I allowed to... Great! Even... Oh, and can we stop at Chick-fil-A? Because you kind of came in at my lunchtime. Uh, but we can grab you some too. I guess. Cool. Would you be able to pay for it? Because I don't have any money. Because you don't have yeah. any money. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go, okay? Here, just take some money. Oh, what? I'm done. No, I'm done. No, I, no, no. Come back. What's the fifth sucker today? I've been waiting to do this hike for a special occasion. It's me. I'm the special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying killing me? We are <laughs> out here on a great time. I want to see how far I can throw this. I let it go too late. <laughs> no, I was trying to hit you. <laughs> Since Ben has tortured me, he's gonna make me some tea now, right? Gotta make the tea. Gotta make me tea. Let's go for the salt. Yes. We are done. We are about to go Mach 5 down this mountain and get donuts. Donuts! Donuts! donuts. <laughs> I'm basically a rock climber. Hmm. I like your ears. Uh, mine? Mm hmm. Thank you. Oh, I like your spots. Really? I used to cover them up, but, uh, you know. 
Hello everybody and welcome back to class. And since it's October 1st, I thought we could go around and say what our favorite Halloween activities are. Halloween? Oh, what is this? We do not celebrate. Oh, okay. Well, maybe the other kids can tell you. Riley? Okay. You go up to people's houses at night and demand candy and hope it's not booby-trapped. Okay, that's not, the, that's not the best description. But the only catch is they'll only give you candy if you dressed up real nice for them in a costume. Ah. Uh. Costumes. Like what? A princess. A pirate. A police officer. A horror flick psychopath. A controversial political figure. For the most part, it's just adult professions or anything that makes you seem like an adult. Okay, I don't... Oh, and the best part is, is you can throw toilet paper and eggs at people's houses once you obtain the candy. No. Okay, let me get this straight. So you dress up to appear older than you are in most cases and then trespass on people's property and then bang on their door and demand free candy, gambling on the fact that it could be laced with something or have razor blades in it and in return you vandalize the property with things you can find in the bathroom or the fridge. And you are trying to terrorize and take advantage of as many homes as you can this night, da? Huh? Yeah, that about sums it up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This is amazing. This is new favorite holiday. That sign us up. Absolutely. Oh god. So, come up to the lab. And see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. You girls want a glass of wine? Yeah, Mom, I'll have one. Yeah, me too. Ooh, I'll have one. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? You're like 12. If that. Well, I'm 21. Ew! No, oh, no, God, no, 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 I am. No. I drove here. I'm the one that brought the wine. Hey, Can you stop? No, because if you're that old, then we're... Oh, we're fucking old. Ancient, man. No. No. I refuse. Here you go, Alyssa. Thank you. No, put it back. Walk away. You go get her an apple juice. I don't want to hear any of that shit again. Seriously? You know what? Ma no. No. Well, I don't know. I just thought maybe you should think about it a little more. And I just think that maybe it's none of your business. So, well, maybe if you had a better attitude, we wouldn't even be in this position. So, oh, that is rich. Oh my, really? Oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on? <laughs> Mom here just thinks no, that- No, I heard what you guys were arguing about. <laughs> okay, good. So you could back me up. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, Mom had some good points, actually. Like, I mean, like, how could you? I was just trying to play devil's advocate. To her own blood. <laughs> We're all so blood. I gave birth to you. It's fine. Just don't come crawling to me when you need my help. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? You know what? We could go to McDonald's or something together. You always love that. So you are gonna come to the church potluck to meet that boy I was talking about? No. Oh. I'll go to McDonald's with you, sweetie. It's not the same! Oh, it's nice. So, Daddy, can I sit here? No, I'll take a seat. You waiting for your girl to pick up some candles, too? Yeah. What's your name, dude? Oh, it's Chad, dude. No way, I'm fat. No way. That's sick. Sick. So what are you into, Chad? The ladies, obviously, same. Respect. I like a good 7-Eleven taquito at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yes, just hits different. Hits so different. What else? I like stocks. Oh, a fellow intellectual. No way. Public.com? There's no better way. It's literally an investing social networking app where you could talk to your friends and other notable investors. It's primo. Yeah, and the app is free and there's zero dollar commission fees on standard trades. No brainer. Yeah, and you can see what celebs are investing in too. And my friend, you can use my link public.com slash KMK for up to $70 off in free stock. I'll give that out to many people. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Do you want to go to the food court and hit on that hot chick that works the corn dog stand? Yup. Nice. Oh. Oh, damn it. Crap.
Chris. Hey, what's going on, ma'am? Hey, I forgot to grab patatas at the store, so I gotta go, but the oven's preheating. The chicken needs to go in for about 20 minutes. Check it, if it's not ready, put it in for a few more, okay? Love ya. I put the chicken in the microwave. Wait, what? You'll be fine. Oh my God. Okay, the stove is <gasps> How long did she say? 20 hours? I don't know. Here's she. How to cook breast. Delete history. I'm gonna set the house on fire. How does one know when the chicken is done? So they just run away. How'd it go? The chicken is raw, and I called 911 for help. Oh my god. Here's your dinner, sweetie. I don't want it. I'm so sorry. I'll make something else for you, okay? Spaghetti's ready. Go get it. But I don't want a spaghetti. And I didn't want an ungrateful kid to pop out of me, but here we both are. All right, wrapping about my favorite TikTokers, part five. We got Call Me Chris. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call Me Chris, Holly Quinn, not his kid, funny vids. Always walk around with little hands. CEO of facial expressions and comedy, man, I sure do love your little skits. You gotta slow down, girl, you're leaving people in the dust while you're out here killing trends. Just playing with you, though, don't slow down, you keep growing as fast as you can. Cause when I watch your videos, I can truly say that they just make my day like the ones who we throw back to the 90s, early 2000s. I can relate, you are not nostalgia, hidden away, buried somewhere deep inside of my brain. You're a breath of fresh air and a wealth of kindness in this world full of toxicity. And you know what's funny? I think you pull off the hair, but than the OG hobby who's that again oh yeah mugger robbie purple and silver coming soon i guess it's a hobby but seriously thank you for all you do stay happy stay kind stay weird stay great but most of all stay you <laughs> pirates of the caribbean acting challenge you at me you are captain jack sparrow which is the blue line mr gibbs captain you may throw my heart if you like i captain oh, so I am very close to 3 million followers right now and it is midnight because I did not expect this to happen so fast. Thank you so much. I am so grateful. And um, I had a competition going for uh, what color you guys wanted me to dye my hair and silver and purple were the chosen colors so here we go. I bleached out the previous colors in my hair and I'm gonna go mix up the new ones, so I'll be right back. The colors are mixed. So I'm gonna do the ends, but I'm gonna do this silver and then the top purple. I forgot to put on gloves. <laughs> Jesus, take the wee. For some reason that took like eight years to do, so <laughs> top layer now. Here we go. I need to apologize in advance because this is probably gonna look terrible. <laughs> sure. See you in the morning. We got silver and a purple. Love you guys, thank you. Please, don't worry so much. Because in the end, none of us have very long on this earth. Life is fleeting. And if you're ever distressed, Cast your eyes to the summer sky When the stars are strung across the velvety night And when a shooting star streaks through the blackness Turning night into day Make a wish Think of me And make your life spectacular I know I did. Can I just get a tequila on the rocks, please? Sir, it's a coffee shop. Yeah, but, but, you know, I don't and know. And it's 2 p.m. Okay, listen, lady, I've had a really long day. Oh, okay? I know, I heard you before. So, tequila on the rocks, please. This isn't a bar, sir. Excuse me, let me ask you something. What's your job? I'm a barista. Yes, exactly. Barista. Barista. B-A-R. Ista. Sir, if you're not ordering coffee, you'll have to leave. <sighs> okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll just do a chai latte, please. Okay. With almond milk. Sure. And extra foam, please. Mm-hmm. And two shots of tequila, please. Sir, again, we don't do that here. Ma'am, with all due respect, that sign over there says customer satisfaction guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm a customer, and what satisfies me is tequila. 
I guarantee. I cannot give you what we do not have, sir. By the way, you know what this place really needs? What? Tequila. Um, hi, I brought my car in to get fixed. Okay, what's wrong with it? Uh, right, it's, uh, it's making a funny sound. Gonna need a little more detail. Like a, a loud sound? What kind of sound, ma'am? Like a, like a ricky like a, like that kind of sound? What? I can't hear you. Um, it's like a, like a ricky like that, that kind of sound? Mm-hmm. And, uh, where's the sound, uh, coming from? Like, like the back in the, in the front, in the middle a little bit? Did you even do the dishes like I asked you? Oh. Okay. Did you clean your room? I'm gonna check. Got her this time. What the? She did. Probably didn't do her laundry though. What is going on? Bathroom's probably filthy. It smells like bleach. What? No dust? Did you fold all the blankets? Did you mow the lawn? She mopped. All right, you did something. You're trying to cover it up with this sting operation? I'm not buying it, okay? Nothing gets past me, okay? Why'd you do this? <laughs> Out of the goodness of your heart because you care? You can't. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? No, you're grounded. You're... Hi, Fair. Can you please wake up? Hey, yo. I think you need to wake up. I think you have responsibilities. Oh, hey, if you don't wake up, I'm just gonna get wilder. Hey, yo, I need you to wake up, please. Please. Oh, hey, now that you're up, then you get me a glass of water. Thank you. Please. Oh my God, Riley, we are in a public park and I am hungover. I don't have time for this. Excuse me, can I just get past? Yeah, back off, but Dr. Phil? Man, I could really use your help right now. She's not listening. Oh, well, I wasn't really on duty, but uh, I can tell you this. You don't want to give in to a tantrum. Don't reward bad behavior, that's for sure. Janet, it is simple. Simply pick her up by ear and throw her in car. What? I, I, I really don't think that's the best advice. Oh, because you know everything, Dr. Phil? All due respect, are those your little thugs over there bullying an adult? What? You need training wheels, you big baby? I remember when I was two. I have a balance deficiency. It's a real thing. Sir, do you need some help? <laughs> Wait, Dr. Phil? Are you saying I'm not good mother? Do you want to go, Dr. Phil? Now nah, you've done it. Hey, look, I, I don't want an international incident here. I'm just trying to get by. I, I, I need to go. W whatever. That's what I thought. In your very best news anchor voice, I would love to hear you narrate yourself doing something super much. Thank you, Tabitha. As you can see, I am standing in my bathroom where only 10 minutes previous I was in my birthday suit entering my shower when I came face to face with an eight-legged furry arachnid demon. Out of fear, I jumped out of the shower, hitting my head, giving myself a slight concussion. Coming to, I grabbed the closest thing to me to execute said spider, but after several attempts and several panic attacks was unsuccessful. So I went to the kitchen to grab one of my knockoff Doc Martens to send this motherfucker into a different dimension, got back, and he was gone. In completely unrelated news, I will be burned burning my house down and needing new residence. Back to you, Tabitha. Hi. I just needed to come on here and be honest with you guys because I haven't been. And I'm so sorry. I need to get this off my chest. And I'm so sorry if people are mad at me. But these aren't my real hands. Your phone is ringing. Pick up your phone. I will not be ignored. Pick up your phone. If you do not pick up your phone right now, I will come through phone and hit you overhead with bottle. Pick it up. You think this is joke? Pick it up. People say I grow up, I will be the same as the ones who gave me my last thing. Your street. Red lights, stop signs. I 
Hey. What's up? Your father and I need you downstairs. For what? Now. Okay. I'll be down in a second. Hurry up. <laughs> what the shit did I do? Maybe they found out I skipped school last week. No, I'd be dead already. Oh god, my stash! No, please god, no! Okay, the plastic bag is still behind the two pairs of flare jeans. We're good. Did I forget to do any chores? I can't get my phone taken away. I just got it back. Hurry up. Coming. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what I did. I oh, hey, honey. Is it HDMI 1 or 2 on the clicker? <sighs> yeah, you gotta switch it to HDMI 1. Thanks, kiddo. Okay. <laughs> All right, which one of you did it? Did what? Yeah, what are you talking about? <gasps> you guys are playing a dangerous game. What game? A pizza, you- I put a very bold and aggressive sticky note on the outside of the box that says don't freaking touch it or I'll break your hand. So the pizza's all gone? No, one piece is missing. Oh, and you're sure you didn't eat it? No, because if you open the box, there's another sticky note that says I counted, I know there's three pieces, you pizza stealing assholes. Well, it wasn't me, you psycho. Yeah, it wasn't me either. Let me smell your breath. No, get away from me! Let me smell your breath. Get off! Hi, right, what are you guys doing? Well? Is that my leftover pizza, Mom? It's in my fridge. In so facto, my pizza. You... Oh, also, you're grounded for putting the word asshole on a sticky note. What? <laughs> you piece of... What you doing there? Drawing a picture of Mom and Dad. Oh, you mean mine and Jessica's Mom and Dad? Mine, too. No, because you're adopted. Come on. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. What? Oh my, they didn't tell you? I I'm sorry you have to find out like this. You're lying. Dude, look in the mirror. You look nothing like us. See any baby photos of you around? There's tons of Jessica, some of me, none of you. There's one of all of us on the fridge. It's photoshopped. Mm-hmm. Dad! No. <laughs> See what he did? It... <gasps> Dad, am I adopted? What? Sorry, I was... Sorry I had to find out this way, kiddo. What? <laughs> Hi, is everybody ready for class? Okay. Da. Da. Okay, well today we're doing addition and question one is for Riley. Riley, what is three plus three? Thirty-three. Uh, no, so three. Uh-huh, plus three. Glasses! Uh, no, okay, we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, Misha, question two is six plus si Twelve. Wait, how did you- Question three, what is twelve plus twelve? A what? It is twenty-four. How do you guys know the questions already? You should really look into getting better firewall. Doc, getting into your computer this morning was piece of pie. What? I you guys didn't see anything else, though, right? No, just lesson plans. Okay. <laughs> and an open web browser to sugarbaby.com. Okay, and we're done. Class dismissed? <laughs>
Um, I'm doing a lot of homework right now, actually. So, no, I know, I know Mr. Richards didn't assign homework today. It's just, like, with extra stuff. So, I just, uh, no, no, yeah, I can ask my mom. I can ask her. Yeah, one sec. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. I just got my girl, Danny, on the phone right here, and she just wants to ask if I want to hang out, if that's okay with you. Danny. I like Danny. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? What do you want to do, Danny? Drugs. Drugs. What? Just say no. <sighs> no, you can't. Man. Young lady, no means no. Yeah, no, see, you see that? Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry, Danny. Yeah, no, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Is that that hard? Like... Hey, Hubert. Okay, I think your phone is ringing. I think you should pick it up. Okay. I'm just going to eat some chicken nuggies while I wait. Hey, yo. I think you should pick your phone up. Boys? 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 Okay. It's going to go to voicemail. Talking about, talking about Tracy? No, 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 you mean like, like Tracy with the ass? Tracy with the, with the Honda? Shit, well. Oops, baby, fuck up on your bitch like oopsie daisy. Never knew that was your boo, baby. Hit it five times in the cool Mercedes. Hey, yo. Hey, is your mom here? Yeah. Yeah, my car broke down and I need to borrow a phone. Okay, mom, we don't want your girl guy cookies. Hey, sorry to bother you, but my car broke down and I can't get a signal on my phone. Wait, Dr. Phil? Oh, hey, listen, I'm as surprised to be here as you are, but I, I just need to borrow a phone. Yeah, yeah, of course. We just gotta wait for Riley to finish watching Frozen. Seriously? That's a two-hour movie. I mean, could I maybe borrow it now? Fine. Riley, I'll take you to McDonald's if you give Dr. Phil a phone. No. I don't want to tell you how to be a mother, but don't bribe the child. I mean, that'll never work. Trust me. Did I ask for a therapy session? That... Riley, come on. I bet you're not even a real doctor. Oh, wow. Um, you got your hands full. I tell you what, I'll just either walk or talk to your neighbors or something. Never mind. Good luck to you. Let's see if you guys can do the teleprompter test. Let's try this. Three, two, one. Law enforcement seized over a dozen firearms and over 3,000 rounds of ammunition during a routine traffic stop. On Friday evening, a DPS trooper tried to conduct a stop on a gray Honda that was traveling west on US 83 near La Jolla. The driver refused, and it led to a vehicle pursuit where the driver was taken into custody. The trooper searched the car and found 16 firearms, 3,520 rounds of ammo. The firearms included high power fully automatic rifles, handguns, and a 50 caliber rifle. Authorities believe the weapons were destined for Mexico. Hello, mother. Da, what is it? I have a request. Proceed. I'm simply requesting that you terminate the relationship with Janet so me and Riley can live happily ever after. No. I had a feeling that you would say that, so I have put together a presentation to demonstrate my rebuttal. This should be good. Go ahead. Okay. Sergey. Oh, da. This is you and me. Happy, content, and carefree. I have a little more muscle than that, but keep going. This is you and Janet. Happy in love, but this is me. Sad, alone, miserable, desperate, dejected, afraid. Okay, thesaurus, let's keep it moving. Okay, next. This is me. Young, full of life and promise. And this is you. Old, decrepit, frail. So close to death, you can see the Grim Reaper waving at you through the peephole in your front door. Let's get to the point. Flash forward to your inevitable soon demise. Janet is sad for the rest of her short and miserable life. How old do you think we are? I am sad. Everyone is sad. But this could all be avoided if you let me and Riley be happy together forever. Is that me in a casket? So let me get this straight. You want me, a single mother from Russia, who came over and had her husband leave her and left her with her two children who never thought she would find love again, but then she found it again with a woman that finally loved her back and she is so happy, but you want me to give all that up so my four-year-old son can live out his first puppy love? Yeah, pretty much. No. Every now and then, come and take my hand. For every 
tell so you can hide will grow inside your chest your heart will need to rest so come into hand them am, am i tasting peanut butter and dish soap maybe it is too early for this riley i have a bad headache and last night i had way too much spicy juice no spicy water no liquid courage what the devil's wettest N no a whitewashing okay nyquil on the rocks where are you getting this terminology from no no let's me watch family guy fantastic Pop Pop likes the bright colors and profanity. I'm sure he does. Why did you wake me up in the first place? I made a potion. A potion? Out of what? PB and dish soap. Where? In the kitchen. Okay. On the floor. You want to see it? No, I do not want to see Hey, did you do your chores? Probably not. Hey. Uh, yeah, I actually did. Hmm. I'm gonna check. Okay. There's no way she cleaned her room. Holy shit. Okay, I bet she didn't do the laundry though. Oh. Okay, there's no way she did the bathroom. <laughs> Got you now. The toilet is sparkling. What the hell is this shit? Got her on this one. She dusted the lights. Okay, there's no way. She even used a swiffer. You think I'm stupid, don't you? What? No? You think I believe this little sting operation you got going on over here? Nah. There's no sting operation. What are you talking about? Nah, you're trying to cover something else up with all this shit. What? Nah, you're grounded. What? Okay, I need to address something that's been bothering me a little bit. A lot of my comments on all of my videos are always, Chris, how are you single? I don't understand how you could be single. And <laughs> I am single because I choose to be single. And that doesn't mean I'm opposed to being with somebody. It's just that in my 27 years of life, I figured out that I am a great partner and I deserve to have a great partner and that can, can match my level of love, you know? And I think everybody deserves that. And I would rather be single than be with somebody that doesn't treat me the way that I deserve to be treated. So yeah, I'm okay with being single. But, you know, if um, Princess or Prince Charming comes along, great. But until then, stop asking me why I'm single, okay? Don't settle, beautiful. I love you. Can you guess what's new? I'll give you five seconds. It's my nose hoop. I'm back in my nose hoop era. What's up, bitch? I miss your beautiful ass face. I'm like, man, I'm like breaking her like crazy. I need a facial. Not like that, don't be gross. You're fucking disgusting. Anyway, um, so I posted a picture and he hasn't liked it yet. So I'm gonna jump off a cliff. Anyway, uh, also I got this shade of lipstick. It's divine and it was like $2.99. I just rhymed, again! <laughs> ADHD, HGTV. I haven't seen HGTV in so long. Is that still on? Should I get cable? No, no. What did you ask me? What did I eat? Oh, a banana. I'm out of bananas now. I shall stop when the green flags lie to me. I do appreciate the little things, thank you. I'm very comfortable in silence. Oh, dear. Swinging in the backyard, pull up in your fast car, whistling my name. Open up a beer and you say it over here and play a video game. I'm in his favorite sundress, watching me get undressed, take your body down, down. I say you're the best, this you need for a big kiss, put his favorite perfume on, and play a video game. It's you.
it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Tell me all the things you want to do. I heard that you like the bad girls, honey. Is that true? It's better than I ever even knew. They say that the world was built for two. Only worth living if somebody is loving you. Oh, baby, now you do. Oh, now 